Pros today have to do whatever the job calls for, and the Home Depot is here to help make that easier. With a wide range of delivery options,
Yeah, Israel, let's stand up. Men of Israel, blow trumpets. Holy Father, we come before thee, Lord. We come before thee, not because we watch us above all, but because of your throne of grace and mercy and compassion you have, you have in us and through us. We thank you, Lord, for when the unity of the brethren, the unities of the nation, the nation of Israel, we may, we may follow thee, we may worship thee, thee only. That we also thank you for, the, for, for leadership. We also pray for our leadership. We also pray for faith, strengthen our faith. We also pray for those that are sick, heal them quickly and speedily. Our Father, we are in heaven, honor be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. As it is in heaven, let it be on earth. Give us each day our daily bread and forgive us for our sin. Forgive other sins against us. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from all evil. Continue, Father, lead us and guide us and protect us when we go throughout this earth preaching this gospel. Then, Father, we also pray that, Lord, you continue have your angels work among us to guide us to strengthen us in Christ, through Christ. Let the whole congregation say hallelujah. 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 In Christ's name, we thank you for the food, also for the drink. In Christ we pray, we ask, amen. amen. Men of Israel, sons of God, patient saints, sons of God, and salute. Salute down, face sisters. To the honorable daughters of Zion, we say shalom. Hey, shalom, shalom, family. Most high Christ bless you all. Happy day, happy, happy Sabbath. It's a lovely day. We, you know, you, uh, the Lord allowed us to unite ourselves here. With guess what? There's a lot of brothers, a lot of sisters there, which they can be here just like you here, but they did not make it today. But uh, a lot of time we're looking at these truth, we playing game with it, not realize you don't have no time, not realize you don't have no days, not realize you don't have no years. So it's up to you what you want to do. But our job is to comfort you in this side. While we're here, we're going to comfort you. While we're here, we're going to teach you. It's up to you what you want to do. You understand? A lot of you, you got the mindset of, uh, you know what I mean? I don't want nobody to know my business. You're going to find out this whole Bible is about, is about me knowing your business. You know my business. <laughs> you understand? There is no hiding business. You know what I mean? Everybody know each other's business. Because if I'm asking you, who's that brother over there? You gonna tell me who's their brother? Their brother is this and that. How old is their brother? You know, that means you know their brother's business. Who's his wife? You know his business. But the Kano man and the Kano woman said, I don't want nobody to know my business. You understand? That's the Kano spirit. But the spiritual man wants people to know his business. You understand? Because he know, you know I mean, he wanna uh, uh, some uh, he's going through things that he need people to know. He say, yo, how do I deal with this? How do I deal with that? But the Kano man is don't deal like that. I want to share something with you before I start class. Give me John, uh, send, uh, John 1, verse 1. That's where we're going to be at. John, chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, mm -hmm. and the Word was with God, mm -hmm. and the Word was God. Okay, now we need to, because a lot of people read it, that said, okay, the Word was God, the Word was with God. Let's look in that. Who was called the words? Let's go to Revelation 19. So we may know who he's referring to, so we're not confused. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was a God. Revelation chapter 19, verse 13. Mm -hmm. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. Mm -hmm. And his name is called the word of God. So now we know who was the word. Christ is the word of God, right? Now let's go back to John. John chapter 1, verse 1. 
In the beginning was the Word, mm -hmm. and the Word was with God, mm -hmm. and the Word was God. Okay, Christ is a God. All right, go ahead. The same was in the beginning with God. Okay, the same was in the beginning with God. Remember, in the beginning was God. He understand in the beginning. Now, where, where 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 did we read in the Bible in the beginning? Where did we read that in the Bible? Yeah, you know I me. Mean? Thank you. In the book of Genesis, let's get it. In the beginning, in the beginning, in the beginning. Let's read that. Genesis chapter one, verse one. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Stop. Who who can help me in that verse? Who can help me in that verse? I want you to focus on things. In the beginning. In the beginning. In the beginning. Let's go back to John. In the beginning. John chapter 1 verse 1. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. Now let's go back to Genesis. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. Who that God right here? Go ahead. Who can help me? Yeah, don't look at the Bible as a strange book. It should be a plain book where we're able to pick up stuff quick and easy. Uh, shalom, happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. So, in the beginning, God the Father created God the Son. And God the Son created the heavens and the earth. Make it plain where people can understand, man. You own that, but you're not making it plain. Uh, I'm sorry. I thought that was plain. No. Let's read it again. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Stop. You remember what my question was? Who's that God right here? Um, Christ. Thank you. You see how plain it is? Christ is that God right here. Because the Father don't have no beginning and end. <laughs> yeah, he can never speak like that. <laughs> you understand? In the beginning, God the Father cannot talk like that. The only person that can talk like that is Christ. I'm offering my bigger. The only person that can talk like that is Christ. Uh, King of the only person can talk like that is Christ. Go ahead. Now let's go back to John. Yes, sir. John chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the word. Mm -hmm. And the word was with God. Uh -huh. And the word was God. Go ahead. The same was in the beginning with God. The same God Genesis referring to, he was, he was with God when the, the creation made. That's what he's, he's letting you know. That God right here in the beginning is Christ that created the heaven and earth. Verse 3 gonna, and John going to prove that. Go verse, ahead. Verse 3. All things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made. So who God is referring to? God, Christ. Christ is that God. All things created by him. Now let's prove that in Hebrew. Because we got to make the Bible plain. It's not a difficult book. You understand? Yes. Let, let's get that verse one. We're going to skin it out. Get what I wanted out of there. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, go ahead. Hebrew chapter one, verse one. God, who at sundry times in the diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. Mm -hmm. Who's that God right here? Who's that God right here? Go ahead. Hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Whom he hath appointed heir of all things. You see that? Christ was, uh, was what? Heir of all things. Christ was heir to all things. You understand? From the first creation all the way, from Genesis all the way to Revelation. That's why he can make the statement said, the book that is written of me. The whole book is Christ. It's just like, for example, you have to look at it like that. God the Father. All right? God the Father said to his son, hey, listen, I'm going to create an earth for you where people will worship you like me. They're going to call you king. They're going to call you Lord. They're going to call you because you're the man, because you're my son. You understand? But the earth I'm going to create for you, you're going to be king over that thing. Then you and the rest of your brother right here, you're rule over that thing. You understand? 
But that's why he can start to say, in the beginning. The father cannot talk like that in the beginning because he's everything. <laughs> you understand? Christ can speak like that. You understand? That's why Christ, remember, Genesis, the five book of Moses, Christ speaking to Moses. Tell Moses how the world was created. It's a man talking to another man. In the beginning, this is what happened. You understand? This is, this is what went down. This is this and that. You understand? That's, it's time for you all to understand the Bible is a plain book. It's nothing difficult. Some, something high, something is plain. You understand? That thing is high. You might, we might bring it out where it's hard for you to understand. Let it go. Focus on the basic. Go ahead. Verse 2. Hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son whom he hath appointed heir of all things, mm -hmm. by whom also he made the worlds. You see that? He made the world. He made the world. Now let's go back to Genesis. By whom he made the world. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. You'll see it now? You'll see it? Who don't see it? You'll see it? The earth, the heaven and the earth was created by Christ. Christ is the, is the man that created that. You understand? The Father gave him full authority to do that. You understand? All right? Yeah, then let's go back to John. Now, as a matter of fact, I'm going to hit you up with something. Give me, give me uh, uh, sub, sub 91 right quick. Now, sub 95. Yes, yeah, Psalm 95. Uh, let's start at verse 3. Yes, sir. Psalm chapter 95, verse 3. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. Um, who is talking to? Oh, 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 who's that statement made of? Christ. Lord God is a great king. The Lord God is a great king. Christ is a great king. Go ahead. In his hands are the deep places of the earth. Go ahead. The strength of the hills is his also. Go ahead. The sea is his. Uh-huh. And he made it. <laughs> he do what? And he made it. It's, you see that thing? It's clear. Christ is, the, is, is behind everything. Go, go ahead. And his hands form the dry land. <laughs> you see that? He's telling you who's their creation. You understand? He created all that. All right. Now let's, let's jump that. Let's drop there. Let's go back to John one more time. Then I'm going I'm to hit you up with something too. Uh, let's, go, let's, uh, let's go to uh, Baruch 3. We usually start at 36. We're going to start above that. Two chapters above that. Now Baruch 3. Yeah, we're going to start... Uh now, as a matter of fact, yeah, yeah. Let's, let, let's, let's get the Baruch 3. Start at 35. Baruch chapter 3, verse 35. This is our God. This is our God. Go ahead. And there shall none other be accounted of in, in comparison of him. There is no comparison to Christ. He is our Lord and God. Go ahead. He hath found out all the way of knowledge. He, he, he hath found all the way of knowledge. He is Christ. He hath found all the way of knowledge. Go ahead. And hath given it unto Jacob his servant. He's given it to our father Jacob his servant. And to Israel his beloved. Yo, remember Jacob's name changed to Israel. Still referring to the same. Go ahead. Afterward, did he slew himself upon earth. Now you didn't read it right. He showed himself upon earth. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Afterward, did he show himself upon earth. So you see who was there? He? That he was who? Christ. The Lord, the Lord God was who? Christ. So, okay. So the Bible let us know that after he showed all the way the knowledge, he's showing it to us, then he showed himself on earth. Now let's go back to John. See who's that spirit that showed himself on earth. John chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning. Now let's get to that verse 14. Oh, yes, sir. Verse 14. Uh, John chapter 1, verse 14. And the word was made flesh. That word was made flesh. Go ahead. And dwelt among us. Who dwell among us. So that word is who? Who dwell among us? You see how easy that thing is? Don't let nobody fool you. 
This is our history. Should be able to catch it quick and speedily. You understand? Go ahead. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. Yes, you should be able to catch it quick and quick. All right. Yeah, let's get let's go uh, let's go to Hebrew 13 and verse 3. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 3. Remember them that are in bonds as bound with them, and them which suffer adversity. Yeah, what you have? Hebrews 11, 3? Oh, what? Mm. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 3. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. You see that? Through faith, we understand the world was framed by the word of God. Who's the word? All right, now we understand who created the world, who created this whole universe. All right, who's supposed to be king over it? Christ is the man. Yes, sir. Then I'm going to show you something deeper. Let's go back to Genesis right quick. Genesis, give me that part right here. Uh, he created he, him. Where, where is that? Yes, let's get there. 20, yeah, you're right. 26. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. And God said, let us make man in our image. Now listen to the words he used. That verse have a lot, of, a lot of thing in it. Let's read it again. And God said, let us make man in our image. Stop. Give me the word image. Let us make man in our image. Give me the word image. Let's read, let's read that. The definition of image, a representation of the external form of a person or thing in art. <laughs> you see that? Oh, let's read the image again because y'all read the word image. I say, oh, he like, like, but the, the words have character behind it. Image. Go ahead. Image, a representation of the external form of a person or thing in that, art. That him right here is going to represent the heaven. That spirit right here is going to represent the heaven. Representative of the heaven. Let's go. Let's go to, let's go to, uh, continue. Likeness. Now I go to similar. To, you see that. Oh, the similes. Similar. Likeness. Resemblance. Stop. Le, uh, likeness. Give me the word likeness. Go ahead. Likeness, the fact or quality of being alike, resemblance. Go ahead. Uh, resemblance. Yeah, we blend. Uh, yeah, give me that word. Resemblance. Yep. Go ahead. Resemblance, the state of resembling or being alike. You all see that? So that man right here is supposed to represent the heavens. You understand? So that Adam right here, you're going to see that that him right here is that man. Is that man that went to the garden. You understand? Go ahead. Let me see what I want out of that. Let me see the word that I'm looking for. Is, as a matter of fact, go back. Go back. Go back. Go, yeah, right there, right there. That, no, no, you're good. That word right here. Representative. You see the word right here? Representation. But yes, I need that word. Go ahead. Representation. The action of speaking or acting on behalf of someone or the state of being so represented. You see that? Yeah, let's read it again. The action of speaking or acting on behalf of someone or the state of being so represented. That's why Christ keeps saying that I did not come to do my will. I come to do the will of him that sent me. Because he represents something. You understand? Go ahead. The second definition, the description or portrayal of someone or something in a particular way or as being a certain nature. You see that thing? So now we understand the word image. Is it, the word image means God about to make somebody that's going to represent him on earth. You understand? Going to be about his program in earth. Now let's go back to Genesis. Yes, sir. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. 
And God said, let us make man in our image. All right. After our likeness. So we went through likeness. We went through image, right? Go ahead. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea. And let, over let's read that part easy. Yes, sir. Read that verse again. And, and God. that verse. Quote that verse. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. Mm -hmm. And God said, let us make man in our image. Mm -hmm. After our likeness. Mm -hmm. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea. And over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. God created, uh, now you're in 27, right? Yes, sir. Now I want you guys to focus in verse 27. I want you to focus. Verse all right? Read verse 26 one more time. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. And God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle. You notice that he referring to them. I want you to focus on that. Let them have dominions. Go ahead. And over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. Okay. Now he's going to break it down where you can understand it. Go ahead. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. That's what I want you to focus on. There was verse 27, right? Yes, sir. Let's read verse 27 one more time. Verse 27. So God created man in his own image. We already know about image. We went through that. Go ahead. In the image of God created he him. Stop. In the image of God, he created he, him. All right, let's look at the word him. So we're not confused. It's a bunch of people. Let's see what the word him is. Because a lot of people said there was only Adam and Eve. Unless you just, you just go in your delusion or confusion of your own imagination. Go ahead, let's read that. The definition of him, number one, used as the object of a verb or preposition to refer to a male person or animal previously mentioned or easily identified. So we're dealing with one. Him mean one, right? A person. Uh, you understand? A person. A person. Him mean a person. An object. A person. All right? Now let's go back to the verse. Genesis chapter 1 verse 27. So God created man in his own image. Mm -hmm. In the image of God created he him. All right. Now, now remember, now we're going to focus on him. He created he him. All right. Now let's continue read. Male and female created he them. Okay. So now, now one person was created. Now two people was created. Right. Now let's look at the word them. Yo, remember, their conversation never changed. <laughs> the definition of them, number one, used as the object of a verb, prep preposition to refer to two or more people or things previously mentioned or easily identified. Yes, yo, yo, you understand what's going on now. One man created alone. The rest was created by a man and a woman, 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 a man and a woman. But that man right here, that him, he was alone. <laughs> you understand? Them referring to more than two. Yes or no? Okay, now we understand that verse. Then I want you to go to that verse and read the verse again. Genesis chapter 1 verse 27. So God created man in his own image. Mm -hmm. In the image of God created he him. You see the him that after the him, what you see? You see that two little dark you see? So what that mean? That their conversation continue. You understand? But a lot of people don't pay attention. Their conversation continue. Go ahead. Male and female created he them. I want you to focus now in verse 28. It's going to give you some clue about the him and them. Go ahead. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply mm -hmm. and replenish the earth and subdue it 
and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Go ahead. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth mm -hmm. and every tree in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed to you. It shall be for meat. So God is given mankind what to eat. We used to eat. We didn't used to eat meat. We used to eat herb. Right. Let's go. And to every beast of the earth and to every fowl of the air. And to everything that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is life, I have given every green herb for meat, and it was so. All right, now we understand. The animal also eat what? Herb as well, okay? So for the dumb, for the dumb spirit out here, uh, yeah, we talk about the Noah ark, something wrong with you. All right, so okay, so now remember, we focus now in that hymn, all right? So... Let's let's get the chapter uh, two now. Huh? Yep. Go ahead. Genesis chapter two, verse seven. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground mm -hmm. and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. Who who man he breathed into his nostrils the breath of life? Who's that man? Is that that them or that him? Yeah, how you know that? Let's continue with you're gonna know how you know that. I'm gonna show you. So next time a person say tell you how you know that, then you know. Go ahead. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. Okay, you remember when we went to the definition of, of him. Yo remember likeness, yo remember to represent. You remember? So if that man, him, was to represent the heaven. So the law, statutes, and commandments are going to give to him. You understand? To control the them. <laughs> you see what I'm saying to you? You all see it? Go ahead. And man became a living soul. That man become a living soul. That means he have laws of God in him. Go ahead. And hold the, on, hold on, hold on. Let's read verse 7 one more time. Verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. Uh-huh. And breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. Now let's go into the breath of life. Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 25 to 227. So you may know what is the breath of life. He breathed into him. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 7 verse 25. For she is the breath of, of the power of God. You see that? She is the breath of the power of God. Who is the she? Wisdom. Wisdom. Go ahead. And a pure influence flowing from the glory of the Almighty. Is a, uh, is a pure influence. Guess what? The, uh, uh, that's heavy. Uh, listen, it's a pure influence. So if the influence coming from the heaven, so what the earth going to have? It's the pure influence, right? So he breathed into a man on earth. So what you, what you think the influence of that man on earth going to be? The influence of God. So he's going to bring the influence of God into this world. You understand what God said mankind should do. What we must do to inherit that planet. You understand? Go ahead. Therefore, can no defiled thing fall into her. You see that? Go ahead. So Adam was a perfect in everything. Go ahead. For she is the brightness of the everlasting light. Mm -hmm. And unspot, uh, the unspotted mirror of the power of God. You yeah, see that? The unspotted mirror in the power of God. Go ahead. And the image of his goodness. You see that? Uh, the, the image of his goodness. So now we understand. Now let's go, let's go to Ezekiel 37. Let's more prove the breath of life. In verse 5. Then we're going to jump to verse 14. Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 5. Thus saith the Lord God unto, those bo unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. You see that? I will enter breath into you, you're going to live. That means I will enter laws into you, you're going to live. Go ahead. Verse 14. And shall put my spirit in you, and ye shall live. You see, now you understand what he's saying. 
Let's read verse 5 again. Verse 5. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones. Behold, I will cause the cause breath to enter into you. I will cause breath to enter to you, dry bone. Now let's read verse 14 now. Verse 14. And shall put my spirit in you. You see what you see what is the breath is? Is God's spirit in you. God's spirit in you. That's the breath of life. God's spirit in you. If God's spirit in you, guess what you're going to do on earth? You understand? God's spirit in you. All right? Let's, let's drop there. Let's go back to John now. Oh, no, no. Let's go back to, uh, to, to Genesis. Why right quick? Let's go back to Genesis. Gen yeah, let's continue reading. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. Mm -hmm. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground uh -huh. and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. What is the breath of life, family? Laws, statutes, and commandments. Go ahead. And man became a living soul. Man became a living soul. Go ahead. And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden. And there he put the man whom he had formed. So who that man he put in the garden? Huh? Adam. They're him. They're him. He's the one who he, he put rulership over the garden. Go ahead. And out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. The tree of life also in the midst of the garden and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And a river went out of Eden to water the garden. To, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Go back to verse. Go back to verse eight. Yes, sir. Genesis chapter 2, verse 8. And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden. Mm -hmm. And there he put the man whom he had formed. Now let's jump to verse. He put that man there. Now let's, let's jump to verse. Uh, verse 13. Verse 13. And the name of the second. No, verse 13. In the chapter 2, man. Yes, sir. Verse, no, verse 15. Sorry, yes, sorry, yes, I don't sir. see. Yeah, verse 15. Verse 15. Yeah. And the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. Mm -hmm, go ahead. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat. So you notice the Lord God commanded that man. He commanded that man what to do in the garden. Because right. a garden was given to that man to be wool over the garden. So God is commend that man and tell him what to do in the garden. Go ahead. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. You see, this is giving laws to that man. He say, hey, listen, that I want you to do, that I don't want you to do. Don't even mess with that. You understand? Go ahead. And the Lord God said, it is not good that the man should be alone. Who man was alone? And how you know that? Uh, Genesis what? One in verse what? I heard different numbers. Thank you, brother. No, no, uh, uh, 27, 27. That him, that him, that him was alone. You understand? But the them, they came together. They come in couples. You know what I mean? When God said them, he's not referring to a man and a woman. He's referring to a bunch of men and a bunch of women. You know, they come together. You know, that's what he's referring to. Them. That's why they tell you he's more than two. You understand? Anytime you heard them, it's not one. It's two and on and on. All right? But that him there is referring to him. Go ahead. Now let's, let's continue read. Verse 18. And the Lord God said, it is not good that, man, that the man should be alone. Who that man that was alone? The him. The him was alone. Go ahead. I will make him and help me. You see that? I will make him. But in the, he tell you them. What would he say? I will make him. He's referring to that, that him, that man that was born alone. Him. He said, I will make him. Go ahead. And help me for him. You see that? For him. But what would he say in, in verse 27? He said, Mary and female created he them. So they're showing you there was more, more than what the Bible is just telling us is like that imaginations of men so co-op. You understand? They will read the scripture. 
it still come to a conclusion that was just Adam and Eve. <laughs> but he's telling you here, him didn't have a wife. But them have a wife. <laughs> you understand? Go ahead. Verse 19. And out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the yeah, air. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to show you another scripture to show you there was more people within the God. Give me Ezekiel 30, 31 verse 9. That's what understanding would do. That's what the Lord said, uh, uh, common sense. We must have common sense. Because we don't have no common sense. So the prophet going to teach you common sense. Go ahead. Ezekiel chapter 31 verse 9. Go ahead. I have made him fair by the multitude of his branches. You all listen to that? I have made him fair. Who's the him he's referring to? Genesis 127. <laughs> I have made him fair. That means he made that Adam better than everybody. Go ahead. I have made him fair by the multitude of his branches. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. So that all the trees of Eden that were in the garden of God envied him. Can a tree envy a man? <laughs> what is referring to man? Let's prove that in uh, Christ in the tree. When, when Christ opened the man's eyes, he said, what you see? He said, I saw men move like trees. Yeah, let's, let's go to that. Yep. He's saying that the tree envy Adam. That means that people there, they envy Adam because he was the ruler. <laughs> they envy him. That's why the serpent feel free to go to Eve and speak foolishness to Eve. Go ahead. Mark chapter 8, verse 24. And he looked up and said, I see men as trees walking. You see that? So now let's go back. Let's go back. I see men as trees walking. Yeah, let's go back to Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 31, verse 9. I have made him fair by the multitude of his branches, so that all the trees of Eden that were in the garden of God envied him. You see, all that people that was in the garden of God envy Adam, because Adam was the man. Adam was the man in the garden. You understand? How the hell are you going to give somebody a garden with no servants, nothing, to do nothing? Make no sense. You know what I'm saying? But a uh, 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 righteous man, they have common sense, going to know that there's no way. There was this only Adam and Eve by just reading scriptures. All right? So now we prove that there was never Adam and Eve in the garden. There was more people than that. Now let's go back. Let's go back to John. I just want to share that with you. Yeah, let's go back to St. John. No, no, John 1. We're done with that. John chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, mm -hmm. and the Word was with God, mm -hmm. and the Word was God. Mm -hmm. The same was in the beginning with God. You see the same when the beginning with God? Go ahead. All things were made by him. All things was made by him. And without him was not anything made that, he, that was made. What is things we know today? We know the heaven was made by him. We know the earth was made by him. All things was made by him. When it get to the earth, when it get to this planet, all things was made by who? Christ. Always remember that, brothers. Go ahead. In him was life. Okay, that, that said, in him was life. What, is, what was the life that was in him? Say it loud, brothers. The laws was the life that was in him. Go ahead. In him was life. And the life was the light of men. Okay. The, 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 let's, read the, let's read it again. In him was life. And the life was the light of men. Let's look in at the, the word light. Why would that be the light of men? So let's look in at to Proverbs 6 and 23. Proverbs chapter 6 verse 23. For the commandment is a lamp. Mm -hmm. And the law is light. So Christ was to do what to men? To give men laws, statutes, and commands. That's why in him was life. You understand? The light of men. That means to give men direction. You understand? That Adam was made to give men direction on earth. To tell them what God require of them. That Adam, the, 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 the him there, came with like, you know, like if you go by a TV, there is, a, there is a menu on the TV. If you go by anything and you grab a camera, there's a menu in the camera. How to open the camera. 
You buy anything in life, in this life, there's a menu in it. That phone come with a menu. You understand? So that Adam, that him came with menu. That how men should guide themselves on earth. You understand? Let's look at that thing in 2nd Ezra. I think it's chapter, is that 9? I give them strict, no, uh, chapter 7, strict commandment. To such just come. You remember it or I have to find it for you? Yes. Yes, sir. Second Ezra, chapter 7, verse 21. For God hath given straight commandment. Listen to this. God has given straight commandments. That's the blueprint. Straight commandment. That's the menu. Straight commandments. Go ahead. For God hath given straight commandment to such as came. Did you not come in this earth? Yes, you came. He give you straight commandments. He, you came with a blueprint. Go ahead. What they should do to live. You see, what you should do to live where? Where are you going to live? On earth. What you should do to live on earth. This earth is nothing to play with, brothers. It's full of element. It's full of trouble. Sorrow is full of that. The God who created the universe, he's telling you, he's giving you the blueprint how to walk in the garden. What to do, what not to do. You understand? He's giving it to you. Go ahead. Even as they came. Even as they came. We did come in the, in the earth. Go ahead. And what they should observe to avoid punishment. You see what the blueprint is written in there? What we should do what? What they should observe to avoid punishment. What we should observe to avoid punishment. You understand? Go ahead. Nevertheless. They were not obedient unto him. They was not obedient to the blueprint. They was not obedient to, uh, uh, yeah, to the book. Mm. You understand? Go ahead. But spake against him. You see what men done? No, we don't have to follow that. I mean, uh, like you notice that when you talk to people, you said, God said this. Like, like you at camp, you will, you will preach. That person would say to you, uh, yeah, how you know uh, uh, what you, uh, like, uh, how you know Christ's will? You say, because the Bible says so. Then he said, he said, that's not good enough. You said, the Bible said, Christ exists. I believe in the Bible. So really what that man is telling you. But he's doing something to you. <laughs> he's trying your faith. He's trying your faith. Then he said, what about, what about if the Bible Somebody else write the Bible. That's not Christ at all. That's trying your faith. <laughs> you understand? Then you go, what about? And then, then you said, yo, brother, listen. If you don't repent, you're going to die. He said, I'm still living. <laughs> I'm still living. <laughs> he's still living. But he's dead. He don't know that. We know he's dead. He don't know he's dead. Because he said he's still living. <laughs> But God said what we should observe to, so we don't go through punishment. Because this earth is a lot of punishment that God created for this earth. For rebellion men like him. Then when you, when he, when you feel like you got him, he said, uh, you know, can you explain to me what was the first language the Bible was written with? Then you say Hebrew. He said, okay, what was the second language? He said, okay, I'll say Greek. Latin, he said he didn't get it. He said, he said, but you know the word change? Okay, brother, the word change. Okay. Adultery. Did you remain in every language adultery? That shall not steal. Did you remain in any language on earth? Is that where it exists? <laughs> love your neighbor as you love yourself. In every language on earth. Do people understand that? If a Chinese tell another Chinese, love your neighbor as you love yourself in the Chinese tongue, he's not going to understand what he's trying to say. <laughs> you see what I'm saying to you? These are foolish men. These are dumb people. You understand? They're on earth. They live like you and I. They got master degree, PhD. That's how dumb society is. You understand? So the wisdom of God is above everything. You understand? Okay? Then he will tell you, he will tell you, okay, I see you believe in the Bible. Uh, what color is Christ? He said Christ was black. 
No, in the Middle East, in the Middle East, they are light skinned. Brother, the Middle East was just made up. <laughs> but in his mind, he's thinking he's telling you something. <laughs> Yo, brother, the Middle East just made up by white folks. <laughs> you, if you read, if you understand, you would have known that. <laughs> you understand? Why? Because they're trying to take you out from their element, your spirit, the spirit of God. They're trying to remove you from the element. But stay in your ground. You understand? Then when they said, hey, let's get the sign, the sign. That sign, how did you know all these tribe? How do you know that's true? Say, brother, listen. We are here teaching repentance, right? Love your neighbor as you love yourself. If you're interested in that sign, brother, you should come to class. <laughs> then they can explain it to you in details. Right now, I see tattoo. That's a sin. Bald head is a sin. Now let's focus on you now. <laughs> the rest, you're going to learn it. <laughs> But let's focus your sin, the sins that allowed you not to understand what I'm trying to tell you. Let's focus on that. Those are sin. You understand? Tell my people their transgressions. Tell the house of Jacob their sin. That's what we focus on. Anything else you can come to, whether you're interested or not, come and learn your identity. Come learn who you are. You understand? You are the children of Israel. You understand? Don't let no man confound you in these streets. Because you're too prideful to apply what we're trying to tell you. Go ahead. Second Ezra chapter 7 verse 22. Nevertheless, they were not obedient unto him, but spake against him and imagined vain things. You see that? Imagine vain things. You imagine vain things. If you imagine vain. Let me show you a vain things that, that we imagine. Give me Genesis. Chapter, give me that part when Satan come to Eve. Yeah. And, sorry, verse uh, three. Yeah, go ahead. Genesis chapter 3, verse 2. Go ahead. And the woman said unto the serpent. No, let, let's read it above. Uh, verse 1. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God hath made. What God tell you about the serpent? He was wise. That's what he tell you. <laughs> The serpent was wise. He was a wise man. Go ahead. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? Listen to the statement he made. I want you to focus on what he said. Let's read it. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the tree. No, no, let's go to the conversation. Oh, yes, sir. Go ahead. Now, now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which mm -hmm. the Lord God hath made. Mm -hmm. And he said unto the woman, Yea, Hath God said, ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? What's wrong with this statement? Did the serpent know the law? How you know he know the law? By the statement he made. <laughs> By the statement he just made. That's not the same spirit in the earth today. Yeah, yeah, how you know Christ is will? How you know Christ is black? How you know, how you know this? It's not the same thing. It's not the same thing Christianity push. How you know you have to keep the law? How you know this? How you know you're not going to deliver? How you know Christ is only the way? How you know uh, uh, Islam is not a door there? How you know Christianity is not a door there? How you know? It's the same mindset. <laughs> how you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, how you know this? How you know that? That's, the, that's how you're referring to Eve. He come to Eve, he said... He told Eve, go ahead, let's read what he told Eve. He shall, uh, and, yeah, that's right. Uh, and God hath made and has said unto the woman, yea, hath God said, ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? He said, did God tell you? You're not supposed to eat this in the garden. Did God tell you that? That statement alone tell you he know the law. <laughs> Say, what is God told you? God tell us Christ is black. That's what God tell us. God tell us Christ only died for the nation of Israel. That's what God tell us. They go to the other Christianity. Nah, God died for all ways of people. <laughs> so which one should I listen to? You or God? <laughs> you, know, you see what I'm saying to you? Man, but guess what? You have to read the Bible to build the confidence, bro. You understand? Let's look at that Hebrew. Hebrew, one of my favorite verse. What is that? Hebrew 9 and 13, I think it is. Is it 9 and 13? 9 and 15. One of my favorite verse. 
that keep me solid in this thing. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 15. And for this cause, he is the mediator of the New Testament. For this cause, Christ was made a mediator of the New Covenant. Go ahead. That by means of death. By means of his death. Go ahead. For the redemption of for the redemption. He must death for the redemption. Go ahead. Of the transgressions that were under the first testament. What was, what was the first covenant? What was the first covenant given to who? Who pushed the first covenant? That was Moses. He said, I came because y'all break the laws of Moses. You understand? So I came to redeem y'all. You understand? That break the laws God give y'all. <laughs> the blueprint was right. You understand? Let's read it with clarity. Slow. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 15. And for this cause. For this cause. Christ is. It's the spirit of Christ who's talking. For this cause. If you want to know why Christ come on the earth. He's telling you right now. Go ahead. He is the mediator of the new testament. Christ said he is the mediator of the new covenant. Go ahead. That by means of death. By the mean of death. He must die. Go ahead. For the redemption. Why he must die for? For the redemption. Let's look at the words redemption, please. He must die for the redemption. <laughs> Let's go. Redemption. Number one, the action of saving or being saved from sin, <laughs> error, or evil. That thing is clear, man. Go ahead. It's the quotation under. It says, God's plans for the redemption of his world. God sent Christ to claim the world back. <laughs> to get the world back. He wants created. You understand? You understand? That's why the meaning of Christ. Guess what? Christ, Christ come to redeem the world. Guess what? And every son of God sent in this earth must be redeemed with Christ. That's why you guys don't understand. Every son, you understand? What do you think God said uh, 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 to, uh, to Pharaoh? These are my sons. <laughs> what do you think Pharaoh would think in that moment? Oh, damn, these are the people we oppress. These are the people we look down upon. These are the people. That's what America, that's what the white men are afraid of. This is the people we slave. This is the people that was half a man, half a monkey. This is the people. The white man said, no, nah, who the hell told you that? You are the Israelite. Who told you that? No, nah, that name is more fit us. We white. No, 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 you're not white. You red. <laughs> you far away from being white. You red. Then you are the, you are the serpent. <laughs> you are the dragon. <laughs> you understand? You are Satan. You are the devil. <laughs> you understand? You far away from being pure. White is a form of purity. The white men far away from being purity. Always remember that. You're not white. you red. That's a big difference. Go ahead. Yeah, let, let's read the whole thing now. Yes, Hebrews chapter 9, verse 15. And for this cause, he is the mediator of the New Testament, mm -hmm. that by means of death, for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the first testament. You see that thing? So Christ is telling you why his death was for. Let's look at furthermore in Acts, Acts 5 and 31, sir. Let's look at furthermore. See the death of Christ. Since the world say Christ died for always a people, then we don't believe that. Christ only died for the nation of Israel. You understand? Go ahead. Yes, yes, sir. Acts chapter 5 verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. What Peter he's saying when he said we rather to obey God? What do you think Peter is telling you? Because Peter represents something. <laughs> he said, we rather to obey the master. <laughs> That's why Peter said, no, we ain't going to listen to y'all. We're going to listen to the master. <laughs> Go ahead. The God of our fathers. You see that? The God of our fathers. The God of our fathers. Go ahead. Raised up Jesus. Raised up Jesus Christ. Go ahead. Whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Him hath God exalted with his right hand. To be a prince and a savior 
for to give repentance to Israel. <laughs> I, and thought, I thought we're repenting for all people, bro. Repentance to Israel. I, I thought we're repenting for all people. Repentance to Israel. I thought they said that people, his people refuse him. <laughs> repentance <laughs> to Israel. So what's going on here? Something wrong here. Something wrong. They say his people did not accept him. So he went to the Gentile. <laughs> but here, Peter in the spirit of Christ let you know what? For to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. So the world is preaching something that ain't got nothing to do with us. So the world is teaching false doctrine. <laughs> then they are the children of the damn devils. Why people are the children of the damn devil? That's who pushing Christianity. Who's pushing Islam. Who's pushing everything else. Every doctrine on earth. <laughs> guess what? He's pushing that. <laughs> you understand? He's behind that. Guess what? You can say you Muslim. He leave you the hell alone. He can, you can say you Christian. He leave you the hell alone. You can say you uh, 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 you from the. Uh, 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 what's that? Yeah. Say, say it in the mic. The comedic community. He will leave you alone. But as soon as you said. I'm an Israelite. All demon break loose. Soon you said, no, I'm the Jews. All demons break loose. <laughs> no, 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 nigga. You're not no Jews. <laughs> now we are the Jews of God. <laughs> I want you to always remember that white people. We are the Jews of God. You understand? The word Jews is short for Judah. You stupid and idiot. You think we will never know, huh? <laughs> now we do. Ignorance. White people, man. Thinking that, I mean, that can take away our language. That can take away our culture. That can take away our, our identity. That can take away. Listen, let me show you something. You see? Let me show you something you don't understand. You see that? Let me show you. Let me show the white man something that he need to, he need to pay attention to. You see? This is a $20, right? This is a $20, right? You see the $20? If I do like this to the $20, do that $20 lose its value? <laughs> if I speed in the thing, I put it there. Do that. Do that $20. We, uh, uh, do that $20 uh, as not a $20 because I speed on it. If I step on it, is that $20 still have a value? So white people, that's what you did to us. We still have a value. We are the sons and daughters of the living God. That's right. <laughs> you understand? No matter what you put us to. You lock us in prison. We're still the son of the living God. You shooting us in every street. We're still the sons of the living God. You lying to us. We're still the son of the living God. So we don't give a damn about what you said. We value in the eyes of God. Always remember that, white people. You understand? Always remember that. You can give us, you can put us in projects. Giving us false education. You know what I mean? False religion. We're still the son of the living God. He has not left us alone. 144 men is on this earth to gather back the 12 tribes. Think about it. Think about it, white people. You think you have a chance? You don't have no chance, brother. We control time. Let me tell you something. We control time. We control days. We control years. So you don't have nothing. You understand? So the Lord can take you out anytime. So you're not going to put no fear on us. We're here to preach the gospel. You better leave us the hell alone. Go ahead. Acts chapter 5 verse 31. Him hath God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel. You see, repentance is for the nation of Israel. Let's look at Israel, for example. Give me Second Chronicle. I think it's chapter 2. I haven't pulled that for a long time. Chapter 2. Repentance for Israel. Is that 2? Second Chronicles chapter 2. Or is that chapter 1? Let me see. It's naming the tribe. It's meant, yeah, not that, that's, I'm right in the second Chronicle. Is that chapter? Let me see. 2, right? First Chronicle 2. Oh, yes, okay. Go ahead. First Chronicles, chapter 2, verse 1. Mm -hmm. These are the sons of Israel. These are the sons of Israel. Christ come to deliver out of the earth. These are the sons of Israel. Mm. Go ahead. Reuben. Reuben is a nation. 
Go ahead. Simeon. Simeon is a nation. Levi. Levi is a nation. And Judah. Judah is a nation. Issachar. Issachar is a nation. And Zebulon. Is a nation. Dan. Is a nation. Joseph. Is a nation. And Benjamin. Is a nation. Naphtali. Is a nation. Gad. Is a nation. And Asher. Is a nation. So why people? When you heard Christ say, go among the nations, don't get your hope up. He's only referring to the children of Israel. He's only referring to the children of Israel. Don't get your hope up. You understand? So now we understand that the children of Israel is 12 tribes that make the children of Israel. You understand? So why people, when you read the Bible, you're trying to, you're trying to find your way in the Bible. The only way you'll be able to find yourself is Obadiah. The only way you're able to find yourself is Isaiah 14. The only way you're able to find yourself is the judgment day. It's all for you. The children of Edom, Esau, that's who you are. You cannot hide that no more. You understand? You are the children of the damn devil. You understand? That's what the Bible said. That's what we're going to believe in. Because look at your work, for example. Look at your work on earth. It's not the work of the devil. You go to every people land, every people village, every people country, you rob, steal, and, and murder. That's not your job. That's your job. Then guess what you're doing it with? With your own gun you was blessing with. The weapons of war. That's what you was blessing with. You do that just throughout the earth. You will go to Africa, wear gold, diamond, everything. That, that, like Ghana, for example, have everything to sustain Ghana. What you go, you will go rob the Ghana. Then you come with your people and say, you know what? Your money don't worth nothing. Then you said, you know why you do that? So you can buy all that gold for cheap. You can buy all that diamond for cheap. All that herb for cheap. Then you're not playing the role of the damn devil. Who can do such a thing unless you got the spirit of the devil on you? Then you're, you're set a president up. Then the people said, you know what? Donald Trump no good. He's a devil. He's racist. No. Let's move Donald Trump out of the way. America is racist. You understand? Let's move Donald Trump out of the way. You understand? Y'all been, been playing with people's life all, all these times. Now the prophet is back. Let's move Donald Trump out of the way. Who's the evil nation on earth? America. You understand? Established upon evil, wickedness, corruption. All right? That's who that nation is. Talking about who you're going to vote for. Two demons. Are you kidding me? Go ahead. Now let's go back to John. John chapter 1, verse 1. Let's jump to verse, well, we, we, we finished 3, right? Yes, sir. Verse 4. John chapter 1, verse 4. In him was life, and the life was, uh, sorry, and the life was the light of men. And yeah, the, we already read that. The life. The life was what? The laws, statutes, and commandments. So now verse 5. And the light shineth in darkness. The light that shine in darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. You see that? The darkness comprehended not. Let's look at, it, the, 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 let's look at Isaiah 60. Sixty verse one and two. We're gonna read Isaiah chapter sixty and verse one. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Well, who's who he's referring to? Arise, shine. They give me that in Isaiah. Uh, I think is that fifty-two. Take that. Yeah, shake the dust. Arise. Uh, Isaiah chapter fifty-two, verse one. Yeah. Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. Mm -hmm. Put on thy beautiful garments, mm -hmm. O Jerusalem, mm -hmm. the holy city. For henceforth there shall no more come into the uncircumcised, uh, unto thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. You see that? That's why we must be awake. We must be awake. Let's start it again. Read the verse again. Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. We must put our strength. What is our strength? The laws is our strength. We must put our strength. You understand? We must put our strength. Let's go back to the John. John chapter 1 verse 5. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Mm -hmm. 
And there was a man. No, no, no. We forgot. We got to go to Isaiah 60. Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 1. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. No, Isaiah 60, 1 and 2. Remember? Yes, sir. Okay, go ahead. Verse 2. For behold, the darkness. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. I got you. Yes, sir. Go ahead. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. The darkness shall do what? Cover the earth. The darkness going to cover the earth. For the darkness to cover the earth. Think about it. Darkness shall cover the earth. Darkness going to cover the earth. Is this really talking about darkness? Like it's dark? <laughs> what is he referring to? Philosophy. Doctrine. <laughs> you understand? That's going to cover the earth. Lie. You understand? Religion. Going to cover the earth. You understand? Darkness shall cover the earth. Go ahead. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. We see that gross darkness the people is us. Let's look at 1 Peter 2 and 9. Growth darkness. That's why Jake, you know this, every nation know what the hell going on. When they get to us, we confused. All we doing, they shake our behind, pants underneath our, uh, 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 pants underneath our, uh, I mean, like our pants is not in the right place. You understand? Our woman selling the bodies. You understand? For, for a Gucci bag, for a lover time, or whatever you want to call it. But all these things are brains of the white people. You will sell your soul for that thing. You understand? They're showing you what kind of condition our people really is. Go ahead. First Peter chapter 2, verse 9. But ye are a chosen generation. Listen to what Peter said. You are all what? A chosen generation. Mm -hmm. We was chosen generation. Go ahead. A royal priesthood. We are a royal priesthood. There, go ahead. And holy nation. What we are? And holy nation. We are. The children of Israel is a holy nation. Is a holy nation. What verse? What Deuteronomy what? And go what? Going to prove that. We are a holy nation. Seven and six. Let's read that. So we may understand what Peter saying. Did he get it in his own mind? Did he just say it was his own imagination? He decided to write it down? Or where did he get the information from? How did he know the information? Go De ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. The Lord did not, oh, I'm sorry, verse 6. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself mm -hmm. above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Let's read that thing again. For thou art in holy people. God said we are a holy people. You understand that children of Israel, we are a holy people. We are his son. We are a holy people. Go ahead. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Let's look at the word holy. In this word, people misinterpret the holy. <laughs> you understand? A lot of times we we see we we our mind is in la la land. We got to start focused, man. Start focused. This whole kingdom belongs to us and everything in it. Go ahead. The definition of holy, dedicated or consecrated to God. <laughs> Go ahead. Or a religious purpose, sacred. Mm -hmm. Out of similes, sacred, consecrated, hallowed, sanctified. Uh, venerated, revered, reverenced, divine, religious, blessed, blessed, dedicated. <laughs> Listen, I want you guys to understand. Let's go back to Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. If the Lord our God has chosen you to be above all people that is in the face of the earth, do you need to mingle with these people? You above them. What would you mingle with them? What would you what would you give? What would you give your glory to go marry any one of them? <laughs> you understand? Now, but we come so low. We become so low. 
We're looking at white woman as a wife. We're looking at the Chinese woman as a wife. We become so low. If we are above them, why we marry them? If we make better than them, why we give our son and our daughter to them? Because we confuse. You're looking at a black woman with a white man. That's disgusting. But in her, in her stupid mind, oh, I just love him. Now you love death. <laughs> That's who you love. You love death. That's what's going to happen to you is death. You understand? Anybody that chooses to go against God's laws, you love death. And that's what's going to happen to your black woman. You love death. Your black men that marry these, these garbage, you love death as well. Go ahead. Verse 7. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because ye were more in number than any people. For ye were the fewest of all people. But because the Lord loved you. You see that thing? The Lord loved you. The Lord loved you. The Lord loved you. You think we believe that thing? Y'all don't believe that. When they say the Lord loved you. When you look at our side, brothers, everything you see happen in the news is because of you. <laughs> That's how special you are. <laughs> Everything you don't understand, you see that kill us, is about you. <laughs> you understand? The world is upside down because you ain't right. <laughs> Everything, all element is out of, of his course because of you. But when, you, when your mind is right, everything going to be in order. You understand? All nations going to get in order. Then the nation that will not bow before your feet, we're going to kill them. Thus say the Lord. That's what God trying to bring on earth. His son be the ruler of the power. Then guess what? When Christ invade this earth, it's not going to ask, let's, let's, let, let, let's join. That He's not going to join with no one. <laughs> you don't understand. Soon he get there, okay. Guess what? Invade the earth. Let me show you what this invade the earth mean. Invade the earth. Let's get the Matthew 6. Because you're confused. Let's get Matthew 6. You understand what, what invade the earth mean? Yeah, let's show uh, uh, the prayer. Matthew chapter 6, verse 9. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Y'all listen to this? Our Father, which art in heaven, Thy kingdom come. If God's kingdom going to come on earth, we thinking that we need to talk to white folks. Or maybe the Chinese man who thinking he's the next power. Or maybe the Arab man. No. God's kingdom established on earth going to invade all kingdom. <laughs> all rulership on earth is done. You understand? That's what America time is short. In the west of his airline time, they're short. You understand? You have to understand that. What you're learning here, guess what? You're learning it to better your soul. Christ is going to invade this place. When he invaded, it, he's not going to plead with no one. It's just going to be strictly judgment. And gather the elect. That's it. Why you think I, you think Christ will come, maybe plead in the White House, you're a white man. What you think? You think that I'm the next ruler to rule? Ain't gonna be none of that. Yeah, it's not gonna be none of that, man. Let, let me show you. Let me give you uh give me uh what is that, Habakkuk 3 and 16. You're playing, you're playing with fire, man. Soon their father says, son, it's time for you to go now. There ain't no hold back. <laughs> you don't understand, man. <laughs> Y'all just playing. Y'all don't understand. Habakkuk, chapter 3, verse 16. When I heard, my belly trembled. Mm -hmm. My lips quivered at the voice. Mm -hmm. Rottenness entered into my bones, and I trembled in myself, mm -hmm. that I might rest in the day of trouble. Mm -hmm. When he cometh up unto the people, he will invade them with his troops. Y'all heard that? He's going to invade them with his troop. <laughs> you know, you know what? Y'all don't understand. He's winning his own army right. to invade that earth with his, 
Listen, he's not winning a, you don't understand. Christ is not winning a manly army. He's winning angels to invade the earth. What do you think the angels going to do? <laughs> it's not winning men. <laughs> it's winning angels. Angels. <laughs> not men. Angels. <laughs> you understand? To invade the earth. <laughs> what do you think angels going to do to the earth? <laughs> Y'all playing with fire, man. Let's read that thing again. Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 16. When I heard, my belly trembled. My lips quivered at the voice. Rottenness entered into my bones, and I trembled in myself that I might rest in the day of trouble. The spiritual men say he was afraid. <laughs> He's saying that he hoped that day. What he really didn't understand, he said, I hope that day. You know what I'm saying? I'm the one who's sleeping quiet, just waiting for the, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to see that thing. I don't want to be, I don't want the one, I don't want to be the set, the one dead alive and see these things. That's what he's saying. I want to be the one who just uh, uh, slept, then join with him. <laughs> you understand? But I don't want to be the one who alive to see all these things. You don't understand, brothers. <laughs> there's no hold back. When angels come for judgment, there's no hold back. <laughs> what you think? What you think? What y'all think? He's going to invade the earth that he wants made. So he knows everything at. He knows what he's coming to do. <laughs> he created it. <laughs> what do you think? You think he's not going to find a white man underneath the bunker? Yeah. Oh, he didn't, you think the white man going to hide underneath the bunker? Or maybe the white man might hide in the moon. Maybe he might hide uh, uh, wherever he, he planned to hide. He created the heaven and the earth. He knew everything about the earth. <laughs> when he came, what you think he going to do? Your guys play with fire, man. Christ is not going to play with this earth. The rulers that rule this planet Earth, they're going to burn with fire. White people, burn with fire. Chinese men, burn with fire. East Indian men, burn with fire. The African, the darkest dark, they're thinking, oh, I'm, I'm Israel. No, yeah, your, your simple be I'm going to burn too. You understand? You ain't going to pass that test that day. <laughs> you understand? You ain't going to pass the test that day. The test that they're going to be the angel. Yo, brother over here, get in the line. Brother over here, get in the line. Brother going to say, yo, why you don't point at me yet? <laughs> yo, brother, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Go over there. Go over there. Then when you look over there, it's to the other nation. You, go over there. When you look at it, oh, I, did, I thought I was a black. I'm Chinese. Uh, you, go over there. They look at, oh, those are the Arab. Oh, I thought I was, I thought I was Israel. You go over there. You, you go over there. You go over there. You go over there. Then anybody that will say, I don't, I don't think you know what you're talking about. <laughs> they will tell the angel, I don't think you know what you're talking about. <laughs> the, the angel, you see, the Sunday word, the Sunday word come out is your head going to be in chop up. You know what I mean, with that word. I don't think you know what you're talking about. You understand? There ain't going to be no answer. No answer is going to be given to you but your head. You understand? That's going to be your answer that day. Your head going to be your answer. I don't think you know it. It's not going to be, it's not going to be easy for this nation. It's not going to be easy. I want y'all guys to understand that. So, which the one you say you had? Yeah, let's, let's read that. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Think about it, man. God anger is going to be in Christ when he's sure on earth. Y'all don't see God anger? You see God destroy a whole planet with water, everything in it? That was his anger. You didn't see God anger in Sodom and Gomorrah while he burned it with fire. That was human, way. that was human, he burned with fire, men and women. He burned children, animals, he burned them with fire. That was God anger. So what you think Christ going to do when he show up with God anger in him? What you think he's going to do? You think he's going to bring flour? What about wine? <laughs> what about wine? You think he's going to bring wine and flour? 
that they going to be God venging. You don't understand. Let's read it again. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Brothers, sister, you don't want to be in the left hand side that day. You want to find yourself in the right hand. You understand? So if you want to find yourself in the right hand, like Paul said, you know what I'm saying? He said, Paul said, I die daily. Think about what he said. He died daily. Right? What daily have to do? What would he say he died daily? Tell me every day you can be gone. <laughs> you understand? God can take, you have to understand what God you're dealing with. God dealing with, listen, there might be your time today at 3 o'clock. God take you out. <laughs> There might be tomorrow at 3 o'clock. There might be the next day at 3 o'clock. There might be next year at 3 o'clock. <laughs> so he control all that. That's the God you want to mess with. So you want to you wanna go deep within yourself and say, you know what? Self, I need to shut the hell up. Self, I need to humble you. Because you can get me in trouble out here. <laughs> you need to talk to yourself daily, man. Say, self, I'm telling you, man. Obey God's commandment. You understand? But guess what? You refuse to do so. That's why brothers and sisters can come to you speaking all type of folly. You will not say anything. You know why? Because you ain't nothing. But if you were somebody that defend their gospel, guess what? You would have seen something wrong with that gospel. You, would, you was going to see something wrong with that tear bearer. You would have seen something wrong. You understand? With their spirit that don't want us to grow. Their spirit that complain all the time ain't doing nothing. Then let me tell you about the spirit that complain. Spirit that complain is not a spirit that don't do nothing. <laughs> I want you guys to hurt me out. I'm saying it again. A spirit that complain is not a spirit that don't do nothing. Because if a spirit that don't do nothing, you easy to catch it, right? What the hell is this about? You don't do nothing. But the spirit that complain is a spirit that's going to do a lot of things in the body. But his complaint and her complaint is to destroy it. I'm saying it again so you may understand. A complainer is not going to be a, a new coming sister just complaining. Y'all can catch it. They say, yo, that sister's stupid. She just got here six months ago. What the hell is she talking about? A complainer is going to be somebody that's seasoned. You understand? You never catch his complaint or her complaint because she sees into this. Says, how, old, how long you been in this youth? Six years solid. How long you been in this youth? Eight years solid. How long you been in the youth? Ten years solid. Because their complainer and Moses was who? That was their elect. That were elect dudes. <laughs> that were dude of renown, dude who got names. <laughs> that was their complainer. <laughs> you understand? That was a complainer. So likewise in this generation, that complainer going to be brothers and sisters that been in this long enough. So you're going to say, that's an officer wife. How long she been? Five. Now she can never be a complainer. She put a lot of books in. Oh, what was that? That's a D. She can never be a complainer. She put a, no. That complainer is to destroy what God trying to build. And that complainer you understand? It's not going to be a peon. You understand? It's going to be somebody that you look up to. So her complaining to you, you would think she just. Then guess what? She start complaining to the newcomer. Because the newcomer don't know better. <laughs> you know what I mean? Say, oh, sister, I want to be just like your sister. You understand? She already honored the sister. But she complaining to the newcomer. You understand? Now the newcomer now, she's two years old. Now, she never, she never noticed why she complaining all the time. Because when she first come, the complainer was all in her ears. Now, she active of the complainer words. Oh, you see, leadership doing this. Then I see pursuit to that. But how did you know that, sister? Who was your friend when you first come in? <laughs> now you got to go back to the roots. Say, why did sister keep complaining? Let, let me find out who was her friend, who she hanging with. Then you find out he's a complainer. She would have been hanging with. Guess what? 
she exercise what she been learned. You understand? She forgot love your neighbor as you love yourself. You understand? She forgot all that because their complainer is not teaching her that. <laughs> their complainer is teaching her about, about, hey, you see the sister right here? She thinks she all that. You see the brother right here? Hey, he ain't nothing. Hey, uh, you see her? She ain't nothing. Then after a while, she starts to believe that thing. Then her way of life, she's thinking what's coming out of her belongs to her. <laughs> Not knowing that, sis, you've been connected with a demon. <laughs> you spray what the demon been telling you. The best way to catch a demon family, let me tell you. I mean, y'all want to know, yes, you're Deacon Laba. Teach me, show me. You know, the, you know the best way to catch a demon? You understand? If a brother and a sister is not talk to you about love your neighbor as you love yourself, it's a demon. I'm saying it again. If any brother and any sister is not teaching you how to love your neighbor as you love yourself, what you mean by that, Deacon Lava? That, that, that you're going to catch the demon. Listen, the Bible is all about love your neighbor as you love yourself. All right? So if a brother come to me and say to me, Deacon Laba, the brother, the brother over here, he offend me. If I love my neighbor, if I love myself, what I'm gonna, what you gonna tell me? <laughs> Matthew 18. Let's love your neighbor as you love yourself. But if I don't have the love of neighbor, I don't have the love of that in me, what I'm gonna do? What? What just happened? What? You serious? She she that sick? You serious? She did that to you? When you love your neighbor as yourself, you protect your neighbor. Am I right or wrong? You didn't protect her for talking their folly. You accept her. You understand? But if you have the love of your neighbor, you're not going to allow a brother or sister to speak evil of anyone. Am I right or wrong? That's loving your neighbor. So you want to catch any demon? Said every time you get up in the morning, you say, I must love my neighbor as I love myself because I don't want nobody to speak evil of me. I don't want nobody to, you know what, I mean? what you think their sister or their brother speak evil of another? What you think she speak about you? <laughs> if she got the balls to speak evil of a sister and a brother, what you think she say about you? <laughs> then their brother and their sister, she and him are the son of the living God. She got the balls to speak evil of that man. Of the, what you think she said about you? <laughs> That's why you guys don't think. That's evil. That's easy to catch a demon. A demon going to speak evil. <laughs> That's her job. But the way she going to speak evil, she's not going to speak, I hit that brother. I hit. That's easy for you to catch that. Look at that. Look at that. Look, look what she just did to you. Is that what you mean? What she did just to, to me? What you mean? Look at how the, the way you just shalom her. She look at you like she don't want to shalom you. That, that's the beginning <laughs> to, to, to test that spirit you got on you. Yeah, yeah. Why she have to tell you wear your mask? Nobody here wear masks. <laughs> you understand? Those are the beginning of evil. Why, why she told you to cover your head? A uh, 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 leadership wife sometimes don't cover their head. But what their leadership wife have to do with you though? You see what I'm saying to you? Those are beginning of evil. So she will justify by just say, uh, a leadership wife don't do it. You see what I'm saying to you? That's evil. <laughs> what, what the leadership have to do with me? The Bible said, cover my head. So I'm going to cover my head. <laughs> That's what the Bible, if I see leadership wife coming in the cover, they don't got nothing to do with me. That's her salvation. <laughs> what they got to do with me? The Bible said, cover my head. That's what the Bible said. That's what I'm going to do. You understand? The Bible said, love my neighbor as my love myself. So that's what I'm going to do. So brother, don't come with me with that foolishness no more. You understand? Next time you talk about a brother, you understand? I'm not going to talk to you no more. Then I'm going to tell the brother exactly what you said. That's evil. You understand? Because you're supposed to be fear. You look at Moses. You look at David in a hole. Saul want to kill David. David have the love of brethren. Then what did he do? He had a chance to kill Saul, Saul many times. What did he do? Even though after they killed Saul, he go kill that man that killed Saul. 
He said, what, what make you have that type of ball to kill, to kill the amount of the Lord? What make you think you can do that? <laughs> That's how your guys have to think. When people speak evil of your leadership. What make you think you can talk about that brother? What make you, what make you have some type of uh, 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 strength to think you can do that? That's how you have to look at yourself. But if you don't look at yourself as special, as just like your leader. Guess what? You look at yourself like you don't worth nothing. That's easy for a demon to talk to you. Because you don't worth nothing. <laughs> you, don't, you don't see yourself worth anything. But when you worth something, you're going to preserve it. Yes or no? So, man, how you preserve what you, what you, uh, uh, how you preserve what you possess? You possess a soul, you must preserve it. How are you going to preserve it? How are you going to protect it? By paying attention to your eyes. By paying attention to your ears. What people say to you and what you see. That's how you're going to protect the soul. What? what? <laughs> because you, you possess something. You want to protect that thing. Your sins don't talk to me no more. <laughs> it's not that I'm playing like I'm all that. Don't talk to me no more. Because every time you speak, it's, it's like it's a bad spirit. I feel it is a bad vibe. You went in out. Don't speak to me no more. I love you as a sister. Anytime you talk, don't talk to me about anybody. You understand? Because I'm special. <laughs> you got to look at yourself like that. That's how you pay. You stop paying attention to you. But guess what, brothers and sisters? If you don't think you're special, demon is easy to deal with you. Let's go back to John. People don't realize, man, this truth is all you got. When you know that's all you got, who bring you up in here? Did I bring you up in here? No. Who bring you up in there? God bring you up in here. Because this is something precious in you. You understand? And you're going to listen to a dumb kind of man who told you that, uh, listen, these guys ain't no right. Yeah, you want to come with me? How old are you again, brother? I've been, I've been studying for two years strong. I've been studying for two years strong. <laughs> you a damn baby. Get the hell away from me, man. <laughs> You've been, you been studying for two years strong. But that's what y'all do. <laughs> that's what y'all do. A two-year-old, you know some two-year-old got diapers, right? He, that nigga got diaper and he's behind. He's telling you, you're, he's telling you, follow him. That nigga had diaper on, man. Y'all crazy, man. Excuse my language. Y'all know, know I'm good for that. It's all the love. <laughs> it's all the love. Ain't no hatred here. Go ahead. John chapter 1, verse 5. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God. Now, hold on, hold on. Uh, read that verse again. Verse 5. And the light shineth in darkness, mm -hmm. and the darkness comprehended it not. The darkness comprehended not. Give me John 3. And verse, let's start at verse 18. John chapter 3, verse 18. He that believeth on him is not con uh, condemned. I want you to pay attention to these words. He say, he that believe in him is not condemned. You believe in Christ, you not condemned. Go ahead. But he that believeth not is condemned already. You look at the word he used, he say, but. Why would he use but there? Then he say, but. Now let's, let's focus on the but in the conversation after the but. Go ahead. He that believeth on him is not condemned. Mm -hmm. But he that believeth not is condemned already. What would he say he condemned already? What would he say in that? Because you already, there's going to be brother soul that's coming out of here. He ain't going to make it. He's already tell you. He said, if you don't believe, you already condemned already. Because when you already condemned, he, he first came already. You know what I'm saying? He already condemned. He's not going to come here believe anything, you said. Because he already condemned already. But he said, he that believe is not condemned. What would he say? But... But he's giving you a clue. And when he said, but, he said, he ain't going to believe because he already condemned. When he already condemned. He came already condemned. <laughs> he came not keeping. He's not going to do no commitment, man. That's not his thing. <laughs> you understand? Let's read the verse. Verse 18. He that believeth on him is not condemned. The believer is not going to condemn. You're going to follow Christ wherever you go. You're going to obey these laws. You're going to humble yourself. You're going to surrender the, yourself, man. To Christ. Go ahead. But he that believeth not is. But he, but he that believe not 
is he that believe not go ahead is condemned already why they didn't say he that believe not is uh, uh, condemned why is it he that believe not condemned <laughs> it say he condemn already he condemn already <laughs> he ain't going to do that he ain't going to do what the lord said cuz he already been condemned I mean, to come here breaking laws, laws after laws, laws after laws, he ain't going to get right. <laughs> you understand? He's not going to believe this thing. You understand? That's why you have brothers come around here. You show them much love. You understand where they're at? They're on YouTube speaking evil. Because they're condemned already. <laughs> you understand? They're just ready for their condemnation. They're just ready for, that means you condemn already. I mean, why are you here? You ready for judgment. <laughs> That's all you hear. A lot of brothers here because they're ready for judgment. That's why they despise their brethren. That's easy for them to speak evil. Just hold a mic and hold a camera. Speak evil of brethren. They don't know, the, they don't know nobody. They don't know their brother they speak evil of. Did their brother ever sit with you, drink with you? Did their brother ever speak to you? No. Then how the hell you speak evil of a brother you don't know? He already condemned. <laughs> you understand? So that's why he pushed what he pushed. He don't care about this gospel. That brother already condemned. Why do you think that brother said, that brother going to make a statement and say, you know what, uh, 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 he want to kill every IUIC. Why do you think he make that statement? Because he condemned already. <laughs> That's easy for you to, to, for the word to come out your mouth like that because you condemned already. <laughs> no way you can sound like that. Imagine Christ sound like that. When the disciple come to Christ and say, Lord, bring the fire. He said, you don't know what spirit you're rolling into, man. You understand? I did not come for this. I come for the repent. For us to, for our people to repent. You understand? But you see brothers on YouTube, they're condemned already. <laughs> you look at the language. All you have to do, pay attention to the language. They're condemned already. Christ said one wife. The nigga said, I'm going to get two wives. <laughs> they're condemned already. <laughs> you understand? Nigga said, no, I'm not going to only get two wives. I'm going to get me four wives. They're condemned already. They're not in Christ. <laughs> you understand? They preach Christ, that don't mean you ain't Christ. A lot of people are going to preach Christ, man. <laughs> How we know that? Let's get the scripture. A lot of people are going to preach Christ. That don't mean they ain't Christ. <laughs> it's a big difference when you ain't Christ, you preach Christ, man. It's a totally big difference. We're going to learn that. Matthew chapter 7, verse 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Go ahead. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? You see that thing? Lord, Lord, we prophesy in your name. We preach your name. We preach, we preach that Israel, we preach that these Negroes are Israel. We do, we go in every street telling them. But Christ have a remedy for you. What Christ said? Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Uh-huh. And in thy name have cast out devils? You see, and, and his name cast out devils, devils that was in women and men. They did that. They said, no, 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 sister. Christ is black. You understand? Christ only come for the nation of Israel. They do all that. They break, they break chains upon brothers and sisters. They were bound by devils. Because you bowed out by devils when you believe that Christ is white. You bowed by devils. Go ahead. And in thy name done many wonderful works. Mm -hmm. And then... Will I profess unto them, I never knew you. What Christ said? I never knew you. Those are the brothers on YouTube, you see. Yo, yo, we can do whatever we want. You understand? Look at Solomon. Solomon have many, many wives. Am I in sin to having two? Yeah, Christ said you in sin, brother. Christ said one wife. That's what Christ said. Am I in sin, brother? If I got two, Christ said you in sin, brother. <laughs> you understand? Because that's not what he teach. He said, wait upon me. <laughs> Let God give you two, three women. You understand? But right now, Christ said, stop. Get your mind together. Get yourself right. Nah, 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 nah. I heard you, Christ, but I still want to do Solomon, though. <laughs> I still want to do Solomon. <laughs> you understand? Which one is greater, Solomon or Christ? <laughs> you understand? Which one? Which one is greater? Their forefather or Christ? <laughs> you understand? Because these people, you got to see the mindset behind what they does. That's why when you notice that their brother, they picked two, three wives, they're on YouTube speaking rockishly with their mouth. Rocket. You look and you listen to them. Their word, they don't hold nothing. 
That's how you know they already been condemned. You understand? When Christ returned, Christ is going to say what? I never knew you. I never knew you. Oh, no, man. I was, I was in every street, man. I was doing my thing. I never knew you. Yo, yo, what you talking about? They're going to say, Christ, what the hell are you talking about? Death. <laughs> That's right. Death. What the hell are you talking about? Death. Christ said he never knew you. You understand? That's what you see on YouTube today. Let's go back to John 3. John chapter 3, verse 18. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already. You see that? He that believed not, he already condemned already. He just living. He already condemned already. <laughs> That's what he's telling you. He already done. That dude already done. He's already fry, cook. Go ahead. Because he have not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. You see that? Because he have not believed in the only begotten Son of God. Because he have not believed in the only begotten Son of God. Give me Hebrew 4. I'm going to show you something. Hebrew 4. He have not believed in the only begotten Son of God. <laughs> he have not believed. Hebrew 4, verse 1. Start at verse 1. Hebrew chapter 4, verse 1. Let us therefore fear, lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest. Mm -hmm. Any of you should seem to come short of it. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. For unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them. Mm -hmm. But the word preached did not profit them. The word preached did not profit them. So it's likewise in this generation. The word preach is not gonna profit some. It's not gonna profit some of them. You, know, you can go teach until you turn blue. <laughs> There's some spirit is not gonna profit them. We already know that. That's what he said. Back then was today is the same. It doesn't change. But go ahead. For unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them. Mm -hmm. But the word preached did not profit them, <laughs> not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. You see that they didn't have no faith. I mean, they didn't have no faith in Christ. They never did. You go ahead. For we which have believed do enter into rest. You see that? We that we're we going to believe, we're going to enter to that rest. Go ahead. As he said, as I have sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world. That tell you, some not going to enter. He said, I swear, <laughs> some ain't going to enter. And to my wife, I tell you, somebody going to enter to that thing. He's telling you. Go ahead. For he spake in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise. Mm -hmm. And God did rest the seventh day from all his works. Mm -hmm. I want you guys to get back to John. You guys have to understand, man. Five. Three. Uh, what is that? Uh, yes. John chapter three, verse 18. He that believed, believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already. Go ahead. Because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Mm -hmm. And this is the condemnation, that the light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light. Okay, what was the light supposed to do to men? Give me some uh, 119, and uh, David going to show something in the spirit, 105. What was the light supposed to do to mankind? Which is commandment of God. Psalm chapter 119, verse 105. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. You see, y'all see that? Let's read it again. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. You see that? That's what the Lord, the Lord will guide you to the right path. You understand? That's what the, the, the instruction is. You come with an instructor. You understand? The instructor is Christ. He's there to guide you. you know I mean, to guide you in the right path. But a lot of time, what we do, what we do, we just want to do our own imagination. Let me tell you something about, you know, you see opinions. Opinion is the, is the most dangerous thing that can happen to this earth. The word opinion. When people say, this, I have my own opinion. You understand? That's the most dangerous thing. 
or I think. That's the, that's the most dangerous thing. You understand? But guess what? You heard people say that all the time. Oh, that's your own opinion. That's your own opinion, Christ is black. That's your own opinion. That day, though, that, that day ain't going to be my own opinion. That day. <laughs> oh, that's, that's your own opinion. If I don't keep no law, I'm going to die. That's your own opinion. That day, <laughs> you won't see who opinion there was. <laughs> that day. <laughs> oh, you know what? That's your own opinion. I can eat whatever I want. I can't eat to Peter. You understand? You pray on it. You pray on doo doo. You eat doo doo. Pray on pig. You eat pig. Pray on that. You you as long as you eat it, you pray on it. You good. That day, that day gonna be your death. That day, you understand? That day gonna be death. That day, that day you are gonna find out that was never my opinions. I was just express God's will on earth. That's my job to express His will on earth. Repent or die. That's 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 the message. There ain't no middle ground. Uh, maybe, maybe I can repent. Maybe, maybe, maybe I've been uh, I've been inside Christian church for twenty years. Nobody can nobody can tell me what to do. That day, that angel gonna tell you what to do. That day, that day that you too prideful to understand Christ only died for the nation of Israel. That day gonna uh, the angel gonna reflect it in your mind. Say, so you remember when you was in this corner, that corner, when the brother was trying to tell you, you understand Christ only died. For the nation of Israel. You remember what was your word? You cursed these brothers out. Now your judgment come for that. <laughs> you understand? Yo, you remember that day? Where you was at the job place? There was a brother. You see him sitting in the corner all the time. He always tell you, sis, why you keep wearing pants? I thought you said you, you a Christian. Oh, no. Uh, uh, God doesn't care about the outside. God only care about the inside. Those are the doctrine. Those are the filter of men. Those are your imagination. <laughs> that day, <laughs> that day you're going you, 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 you gonna to wish that you listened to that dude. You understand? And while you was in the stripper club, you see the brother, you know what I'm saying? The brother standing in the corner. He say, sis, I only show up here once. I come for you. What you mean you come for me? Sis, what you doing is wrong. <laughs> I come to the, <laughs> to the Bible. You are the children of Israel. You know what I mean? Leviticus 20, 20, 17. That should not be no holes in the door. What the hell are you talking about? Security, get him out of here. That day was your day. <laughs> you understand? That day at the job place. You remember when you was sitting underneath the tree? The brother that was talking to you? You complaining him. You tell the manager he's, a, he's into a hate group. You remember that day? You remember that day? You, that angel going to remind you of all that. You understand? Now you thinking that all that not recorded. That's how stupid you are. Everything you do recorded. You know that, right? You hear recorded in your mind. Like if, I call, if I call you five days later, I'll tell you what happened in that class, that class. How the hell you remember? Because it's recording somewhere. <laughs> in your mind. Your mind is a recording. It record everything. You understand? Same thing as a computer does. Your guys playing with your life. Let's go back to uh, John 1. In verse 5. John chapter 1 verse 5. And the light shineth in darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. Mm -hmm. There was a man sent from God. No, no, that's all I want. In verse 5. That's all I want. Now let's go to. Let me see. Let's run let's, let's back. Because a lot of. A lot of. A lot of our brothers. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 15. A lot of our brothers, man, they don't realize this truth is precious. You sitting where you sitting at is precious. You understand? A lot of people, God not given the opportunity or, or to find him here. But God give you the opportunity to find him. So you must be special. So conduct yourself as, as special. Go ahead. 15, we're going to read verse 23. No, start at 21. Yes, sir. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 21. For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of death. Mm -hmm. By man come death, right? So by man also come the resurrections of death. Go ahead. For as in Adam all die. In Adam we all die. Go ahead. Even so in Christ shall all be made alive. You see that? Even though in Christ we shall, we shall be made alive. Go ahead. 
but every man in his own order. Listen to this. Every man must be in his own order. Go Christ, ahead. Christ, the first fruits. Christ is the first fruit from where? From what? Let me see if you're thinking. It's the first fruit from what? No, we just read it. Let's read the verse above that. Yes, sir. Verse 22. For as in Adam all die. In Adam we all dead. I mean the spirit of death is, is in all of us. Guess what? Which of your forefathers was still alive today? So the spirit of death, all of them went through it. Right? Generations of Noah. Generation of Abraham. Where's Abraham? Generations of Moses. Generations of uh, Isaiah. They're all dead. Right? So now we're in a generation. Right? So some of us going to face death. Right? Listen to what he's saying. For as in Adam all die. And of Adam we all die. Go ahead. Even so in Christ. Shall all be made alive. We're going to make alive. We're going to make alive. We're going to be awake again. Go ahead. But every man in his own order. You see, every man must be in their own order. Every man must be in their own order. Every man must be in their own order. What we're referring to? In Adam, we all die. Every man must be in their own order. In Adam, we all die. Every man must be in their own order. Go ahead. Christ, the first fruits. Christ is the first fruit of what? Make it plain. Somebody say, death <laughs> is the first fruit come out of the dead. You understand? So when he, the first fruit come out of the dead, so where he went? He went where he came from. Yes or no? I'm going to read it again. Y'all can see it clearly. Go ahead. But every man in his own order. Every man must be in his own order. Because Christ is what? In Adam we are dead. Right? So Christ resurrected from what? Death. So he went where he came from. So he's likewise is us. Go ahead. Christ, the first fruits. Christ is the first fruit from dead. Go ahead. Afterward. After Christ. Is the first fruit afterward? They that are Christ at his coming. What they're saying to us. Go ahead. Get me this. That's meaning um, the dead in Christ shall rise first. Yes, the dead in Christ going to rise first. The dead in Christ going to rise first. Christ is the first fruit. Afterwards, I mean, the return of Christ, the dead in Christ going to come up. We're going to be resurrected as well with a new body. Yes or no? You understand? Because that body we have here cannot inherit the kingdom. Is a fleshly body. You understand? We must inherit the new body. We, we once have, just like Christ had a body. You understand? So we had a body as well. Go ahead. Verse 23. But every man in his own order. Every man must be in their own order. Just like Christ raised up from the dead, every man going to be in their own order. Not all of us in the same levels. That's what he's saying to us. Every man must be in their own order. It's an order set up in heaven. Christ the first, then every man that, the next man that come after him, the next man, the next man, the next man. Everybody is not in the same level. That's what he's telling us. Every man must be in their own order. Go ahead. Christ, the first fruits. Afterward, they that are Christ at his coming. Go ahead. Then cometh you notice it said they they are of Christ. They they are of Christ. They they are of Christ. Those, those that are of Christ, those that they, they, they're gonna inherit the kingdom with Christ. You understand? Go ahead. Then cometh the end. Then coming what? The end. You see it? Then coming the end. The end of what? Death. 
the end of death. No more death. You understand? Let's read it again. Then cometh the end. Now let's read that verse. Go above. But every man in his own order. Mm -hmm. Christ the first fruits. Mm -hmm. Afterward, they that are Christ at his coming. Mm -hmm. Then cometh the end. Because guess what? Then that come the end of death. That means we no longer die. You understand? We can only die when we was in the flesh. We no longer die while we're in a full form, full strength. Our body change. There's no more death. So we overcome death. When we change to a new body, we overcome death. Go ahead. Then cometh the end, when he shall have delivered up the kingdom to God, even the Father, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power. For he must reign, Till he hath put all enemies under his feet. But you, you know what's good about that. Let's read the verse again. Slow this down. Verse 24. For he must reign. So Christ must reign. He's going to win where? To be what? King on earth. Right? Go ahead. Till he hath put all enemies under his feet. So who's going to put their enemy under his feet? Christ going to put all enemy under his feet. When he went, right? Go ahead. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. You see that? The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. Go ahead. For he hath put all things under his feet. Go ahead. But when he saith all things are put under him, it is manifest that he is ex accepted, which did put all things under him. That God going to be accepted that day. That put all rulership under Christ. Go ahead. And when all things shall be subdued unto him. See, Christ must subdue all things. <laughs> he must subdue all nations. Everything. Go ahead. Then shall the, son of, shall the son also himself be subject unto him that put all things under him. Christ himself going to humble himself. You understand? To him who give him the power over the earth. When you read in the Bible, anytime you see title, God cannot refer in his title. Because he's, he's everything. When, that's how you see and say God Almighty. You know what I mean? Like uh, you will see in the beginning, God cannot refer in himself in the beginning. He cannot talk like that. Only the son can talk like that. You know what I mean? Because God is everything. So, a lot of time when people, when we saying that Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is the same person, people thinking we bug out. That's the same person. You understand? Yeah, but people don't know that. That's what uh, uh, Christ, when he come on earth, what did he say? Uh, when we ask him, Lord, how do we pray? Let's listen to what he said. Lord, how do we pray? What did he say? Our Father, who are in heaven, honor be thy name. Christ referring to himself as well. Our Father, who are in heaven, honor be thy name. There's a Father. Above all. You understand? Above Christ is a Father. That's why I say, how do we pray? You understand? You say, our Father, who are in heaven, honor be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Who is he referring to? The Father. His kingdom must establish where? On earth. The earth he gives to who? His son, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you understand? So he's going to establish his kingdom on earth. He gives to Jesus Christ, his son, to rule the whole earth and everything in it. That's a true father. <laughs> you understand? Christ himself must submit. <laughs> you understand? Under him. It's, it's, people don't realize this thing is more than what we think. We're living in a, in a planet where, where everything is in control. Everything control. We like stupid to thinking that God just created the planet in a, in a vague like bang. No, everything is an element. Everything is element. Everything rule. You understand? Or why, why the water cannot invade the earth? Why the earth cannot invade the water? So everything is in control of something. Everything is in, is in the right course. Why they treat on this side, you know what I mean, let's invade the earth. You know I mean, why they treat on just let's let's push enough trees to to cover the whole planet Earth. Everything is in control. God doesn't deal 
God deal with things in order. You understand? So is human ways. We supposed to be in order. You understand? When you feel like to do whatever you want, you out of sequence, man. You understand? You cannot do whatever you want. You cannot have the thought to say that you don't want nobody to be in your business. When you start when, that thought right here is of the damn devil. You have a sister say, why, why are they all in your business? She's the devil who's talking to you. <laughs> you understand? Why they want to be all in your business? The devil is talking to you to her. <laughs> why not, sis? They're supposed to be in my business. I'm a kid. They're supposed to guide me. That's what God, God, that's what God sent these men to guide me. You understand? Then let me show you man, how you know that, that that spirit will talk to you is of the devil. Right? Give me the Hebrew 13. I'm going to show you how you know. The spirit that tell you that, why are they in your business? When you hear sister talk like that, she is the devil. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 16. But to do good and to communicate, forget not. No, no, give me the one in uh, the watch over your soul. That's the one I want. Verse 17. Obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourselves, for they watch for your souls. If somebody gonna watch for your soul, do he have power to tell you what to do? God is over your soul. Do God have power to tell you what to do? You, you agree to that? So that man that God set over your soul, do he have power to tell you, sister, do not watch the, the, the filth on YouTube? Did he have power to tell you that? Sister, do not watch these, these, these Negroes. Don't watch that. They're gonna mess with your mind. He have power to do so. You understand? But that dumb spirit is going to tell you that. Why are they all in your lives? Why are you actually all in your lives? Are you actually all in your lives because they apply scriptures? Our job is to watch over your soul. So we're going to tell you, sis, don't do it like that. You can choose to do it if you want. But this is the eye come out of that. There's going to be something come out of that. You understand? And we can look at the young man. You say, brother, you ready for a wife? You ain't ready yet. She ain't ready. Uh, nah, nah, Deacon Lava don't know what the hell he's talking about. I mean, I, 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 this is what, this is me. Yeah, this is you, all right. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, those are thoughts of devils, man. Or sister said, oh, I want your guys to pick me a, 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 a lord. Then we say, sister, you, you see the brother over there? Yeah, he's saying, well, brother, he got this thing together. Very good brother. She said, who? He said, yeah, they said the brother over there. The light-skinned brother over there. She looking at him. She said, oh, I'll get back to you, Deacon. I'll get back to you. So, so <laughs> you wait a week later, two weeks later, two weeks later. Uh, uh, then she come back two weeks later. Deacon, I think I'm going to try to build myself up. But did I come to you, tell you you need a Lord, or you come to me? Or you didn't know you have to, be <laughs> you didn't know you have to build yourself up? Maybe some people really think we're stupid. <laughs> You understand? You come to me, tell me, Deacon, I'm ready for a Lord. Can you, can you get me a Lord? And I say, Sister, okay. Then uh, yeah, I try, I'm going to get you a, a, a decent brother. Then I say, Sister, that's the brother over there I was talking to you about. So hold on, let me put my glasses on, Deacon. Yeah, that's the brother. Yeah, the brother got, yeah, that's the brother. Ah, Deacon, I get back to you. That's a no. You understand? Because the fact of the matter that she don't believe what she was saying all this time. Her word came back and try her. Because she said, I want leadership to pick me a husband. Right? The word she said come back to haunt her. And I said, if you really believe in leadership, now nah, this is what they tell you. Oh, no, no, Deacon. You know, I, like, I don't like light skin. I like little dark skin. Then if, you was, if their brother was a dark skin, she said, no, Deacon, I, I like them a little light. That's playing with words. That's playing with words. But listen to what the scripture said. Go ahead. Obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourselves. You see that? The Bible is telling us to submit ourselves. The only person, you have to understand what, the, what the, it says, submit. You have to submit what? yourself you have to submit yourself you have to submit yourself unto those that's watching over your soul you have to submit yourself humble yourself but a lot of us we don't want to humble that 
we want to do our own thing. Then when we caught up in the backdoor marriage, then we, we, we said leadership ain't right. Now let me tell you about you. You have not submit yourself yet. Because it's easy. When you feel like it's easy for brother to speak evil to you about leadership, you don't see nothing wrong about that. That the Lord trying to show you what kind of spirit you come up with. Give me that in First Peter. Now, verse, verse 2. As a matter of fact, start at verse 1. Because a lot of you are wearing fringes. A lot of you have the little blue in the top. You understand? You don't, you don't, you don't look at it as, as a bless to have fringes on. You know what I mean? To remind you the love of brethren. To remind you of your sin. Go ahead. First Peter chapter 2, verse 1. Wherefore, laying aside all malice and all guile, and hip, uh, hypocrisies, and envies, and all evil speakings. You see that? All evil speaking. Like if a sister talk about another brother, is an evil speaking. You understand? But because you come out of the world with it, she's easy to talk to you. Because you got the evils on you already. So she talked to you, yo, sis, you know this and that, because that thing is already in you. That's why when the devil talked to Eve, serpent talked, she, he knew there was something already in Eve. Because Eve should have stopped him. What you mean what God said? You already know what God said. The hell you come talking to me for? <laughs> you understand? He said, did God say that? I mean, you already know what God said. <laughs> so why you, come to, why you come to me? You understand? What leadership told you? That's how they come. How huh, leadership? But what they told you? <laughs> what they tell you cannot marry him? Uh, sister, go, uh, you know what I mean? Love, love. Go for your love. If you love him, if you love him, do your thing. <laughs> if you love, that's how you know this saying. <laughs> they say, what leadership tell you? Oh, oh, oh. And then she see you come up here, we talking to you. They, they go, her, uh, her gossip is, I wonder what they're talking about. Your sis, their brother ain't ready. They give him some time. Give yourself some time. And she said, she said, damn, I wonder what, what the hell they're talking about. And she said to you, Hey, sis, I see you in front. Hey, uh, I saw you in front earlier. What happened? You okay? You okay? That, then you, she want, that's how you know he's gossiping. Because, because she see you up there, what make her feel like she can come to you and tell you what the leadership was talking to you about? You understand? That's not her damn business. <laughs> you understand? That's not her business. But she said, you okay, sis? Everything is good. Why she didn't tell you that when she walked out the door, is everything is good with you? Then she have to wait when you come up here to, uh, to uh, require of you if everything good with you. She have to tell you that when you walk out the door, sis, you good? If you're, How you doing? How was your week? Why she wait when you get up there to tell you that? That's a gossip spirit. Then she said, yeah, yeah, yeah what happened? You say, you know, uh, yeah, I was, uh, I was talking to a brother. They told me stop talking to the brother. Sister, if I was you, I'd follow my dream. <laughs> I will follow your dream. <laughs> you know what if I was you, I'd follow my dream. Then, then down the line, when you say, when you say, sis, the sister said, no, I was just talking about me. I was not talking to you. You understand? She's not going to tell you, you, you should follow your dream. Some of them slick, they're smart like that. They're not going to tell you, you should be right. They say, if I was you, I'll, I'll follow my dream. Really what she's telling you. Don't listen to what leadership is telling you. That's what she's telling you. But you're not wise to catch it. Because guess what? You see her as a godly woman. You see her as a friend. You see her friend, how long her friend is? You just see her as so holy. She cannot tell you nothing wrong. <laughs> yeah, you feel me? You feel me? Then you say, yo, sis, what's wrong with you? I don't know. Deacon, I messed up. What happened? No, you know that brother you told me to talk to? Last night, we was together last night. I said, sis, did not tell you to talk to them. No, you have to listen, Deacon. Listen. Listen, D. I say, sis, sit your, sit your ashy black behind down. Just, 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 do nothing. <laughs> nothing, do nothing. What you going to tell me when I not already told you? Don't do. Oh, no, you know, that sister told me to follow my dream. That sister told me, to, <laughs> that sister told me, just, yeah, uh, 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 you know, love don't have no boundary. That's what that sister told me. Those are words of devils. You understand? Those are the words of devils. Oh, your thought tell you that. You know what I mean? You know, you know, some sisters know. You know what I mean? You, you, you have to know your shoe size, sister. 
Some sisters look at the man and say, I want him to be my Lord. Then the brother, she says she wants to be her Lord. The brother is fit. Brother is in the gym. Brother, brother doing his thing. The sister that said, that's the brother she like. Then you like, you're looking at the sister. Which one again, you say? The brother back there? Mm, okay, sis. You, know, you don't want to hurt her feeling because you already talked to the brother. The brother told you what he liked. You look at the sister, sis. Yeah, go ahead and talk to him. Go ahead and ask. What, what? <laughs> that's not, that's not, because if you tell her something, she's going to think that you're trying to be a player hitter. Play ahead. He said, go ahead and talk to him, sis. Are you trying to be cut block? No, 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 Deacon, cut block. No, 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 go ahead. That was a sister. I was in Passover. She going to say, D, I like that brother over there. Then I call that brother. I say, I look at the brother. Then I look at her. She say, I like that brother over here. Then I say, yeah. I say, yeah, brother. Then I say, brother, the sister here interested in you. Then I just, you. Then she told me, she said, and then, then, then uh, I said, your sister, what happened? She said, all the time I was trying to get his attention, he's looking like skinned woman, just like skinned sister, just passing by all the time. I said, sis, and my mom said, sis, something is not for you. Because I could not tell you that, you know what I mean? But now you find out for yourself. You know, he said, oh, I was trying to talk to him. The brother eyes is everywhere. <laughs> because he's not interested in you. When there's somebody interested in you, he's going to talk you, talk to that person, he's talking to you. But a lot of your sisters are like that, man. Then that's why we're telling you, burn the fat. You'll get angry. You'll get angry of the burn the fat. Because you don't see how precious you are without the fat. Go ahead. First Peter chapter 2, verse 1. Wherefore, laying aside all malice mm -hmm. and all guile mm -hmm. and hypocrisies mm -hmm. and envies and all evil speakings. You see that? When you put that thing aside, guess what? You're going to catch demons. You put all these things aside of you. You take this thing off of you. Now you're able to observe things coming to you. Yo, yo, that's not right. Sis, you're not supposed to talk like that. That ain't right. No matter what she did to you, you're not supposed to talk like that. You notice like Esau used the same tactic. Like for example, he will kill a brother in the street. Then he will say he was a drug dealer. So what make you the right to kill him even though he was a drug dealer? But he will say, oh, he was a drug dealer. Oh, he was a thief. Oh, he was this. That's the same thing brothers and sisters doing in the truth, man. You understand? So what? So what the brother, you know what I mean? We all have problems. But at the end of the day, sis, you're not supposed to talk like that. You understand? Brother, you're not supposed to talk like that. You understand? Because we don't know better, we give heed to these things we heard, not realize we came out of the street with malice. We come out of the street with envy, hatred, bitterness. They're all in us. You understand? Then brothers and sisters up in here, that have demon on them, they're able to see it in you. You understand? They're able to see you got the same demon as them. So you do that. How you doing, sister? Are you good? Mm. You know, sister, yeah, that's why I don't need me a man. In the world, I used to, in the world, uh, uh, in the world, uh, you know, I was hurt in the world. Now you listen and you just come and you don't know nothing. They go to their sister spit the whole thing to you. Uh -huh. Then she been here for like, she been here long enough to know better. Then she says to you, to the newcomer. Yeah, you know, uh, in the world, you know, the reason, you know, I've been with IUIC for three, three, four years. The reason I don't need a Lord, the reason I'm not sick for a Lord, you know, I was whipped in the world. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. I can't believe that. Yo, yeah, that's why it's kind of hard for me to get me a lord. Oh, you say, you say, you too. Me too, sister? Yeah, I, I was too. I, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, you what? Oh. Birds of a feather. Yeah. You like, now, because she came with you with a, uh, uh, with a, with a emotion. You don't, you, you, yourself come with the emotion. You're like, yeah, me too, sister. That sister right here, she didn't tell you she was whipped because she want to tell you she was whipped. She came for information. Then to know about you. Oh, she said, she said to you, your sister. Then you go to her, you say, see, she's been here long enough. Why you don't seek for no Lord? Girl, you don't know. Mm. I'm going through so much. 
you like, <laughs> you know, you, when that person talks to you, like, you want to say, what, what, what? You don't know? Hmm. I'm proving, I was proving two men at the same time. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. You out here playing. Right? You out here playing, right? <laughs> she said, she said, I said, I said, oh, that catch up with me. I didn't know, you know, I still got the whole spirit on me. That's why I cannot get a Lord right now. They told me, wait. And their little sister, they have the whole spirit on her. She said, what did that do to you? <laughs> she, said, <laughs> she said, what did that do to you? Oh, they, didn't, they, just, they just checked me. She said, sis, get the rule of the, uh, don't, you cannot be doing this, sis. Then their, their, their little whole spirit, their new one have. She said, yeah, that's all that did? Mm. I can, I can, I like this one. I like that one too. Hey, sis, you okay? Oh, sis, you, yeah, anytime you need me, they got a number, you know, you can call me. All right. Let me tell you something about brothers like that and sisters like that. Brother like that, sister like that, they're up to no good. Let, let me show you how you know brother no good who give you that number to say, call me sometime. Then when you know that brother's not interested in you, that sister's not interested in you, that alone showing you that that brother right here is out of order. Think about it. If he's out of order already dealing with you, what you think he's going to do? You think he respect you? You think he love you? You think he care about you? No. He's going to show you he don't care about you. You're going to be a backdoor marriage. <laughs> That's how you know he didn't give a damn about you. <laughs> he didn't care. Because when you love a person, if you're really interested in the person, you want to walk the desire. You want to make sure that sister... She never been married. You want to make sure that, you know what I mean, in Christ's marriage. That's a person who care about his neighbor, who care about the sister. The sister care about the brother. No, brother, we cannot be talking late like that. You know what I mean, that brings some spirit. You understand? Know I start feeling some type of way. Let me back up a little bit. Let me get in my senses a little bit. Because I know me. If I have the chance, I will jump all over the chance. That brother feels the same way too. If I have that chance, I will do it. But you have to protect each other. Yo, you know, the Bible said, if I want to go to a movie with you, let me bring somebody, brother. Yeah, hey, hey, sister, if I want to go, let me bring this brother. You understand? These are the people that want to preserve you. They care about you. But he said, nah, I'm a growing up. You know, the sister said, we grown. We cannot, we cannot, we cannot do it because we grown. When you hear a spirit like that, that spirit like that don't care for, they don't care about walking in the aisle. <laughs> you understand? Because if she care about walking out, uh, walking the aisle, she gonna use the tools leadership give her. <laughs> you understand? That brother gonna walk to the tools leadership give her. Get a, get somebody in there, man. Get a, get somebody to, I mean, you wanna go to the movie, get up somebody in there. These things are elements. Element to keep you not messed up to walk in the aisle, man. Now, but guess what? You're not paying attention. I love him. I love her. Oh, I can talk to her at 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning. Think about it. What did you talk to her about 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning? Is that you telling her uh, uh, what, what precept is? No. Conversation changed after conversation changed after 10 o'clock, by the way. <laughs> I want all you to understand that. Then I don't speak nothing I don't know. I speak things that I do know. You understand? Conversation at 10 o'clock. If you betroth somebody at 10 o'clock, conversation should be in. Because guess what? Oh, you, do, you don't have a job. <laughs> so you're going to talk to a person at, at 2, 3 o'clock where you have to get up at 7 o'clock. That alone show you something wrong. <laughs> so now you show up in the job, they fire you. You understand? Then you're about to get married. You don't have a job. You think you care about you? You don't care about you, man. 10 o'clock, 10.30, that thing should be dead. Conversation should be dead. It's time for you to go to sleep. Hoping for tomorrow. You understand? Tomorrow will come. Lord's willing. You understand me? But a lot of y'all, y'all don't follow. So when y'all don't follow, you're caught up in your lust. You're caught up in your emotion and your feeling. Then who you blame? Leadership. Who, who tell you how to do it in the first place? Who giving you that guideline in the first place? Let's continue in Peter. First Peter chapter 2, verse 2. No, no, the reason we went in Peter is for a reason. Let's go back to Corinthians 15. 
1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 25. Mm -hmm. For he must reign till he hath put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. For he hath put all things under his feet. But when he saith all things are put under him, it is manifest that he is accepted, which did put all things under him. And when all things shall be subdued unto him, then shall the Son also himself be subject unto him that put all things under him. You got to look at Christ, for example, you know, like uh, you're looking at, I mean, the earth, heaven created by him. You understand mankind created on earth. I mean, men become corrupt. Things happening happen to this earth. You understand me? And then this, this the statement that I, that I admire in the scripture when they said, my son, when you come to serve the Lord, prepare your soul for what? Temptation. Anybody can be your temptation. Your son, your daughter can be your temptation. Your wife can be your temptation. So God is warning you from the beginning. Say, my son, if you choose to serve me, prepare your soul for temptation. And how do you prepare your soul for temptation? How do you do that? By being alert. You have to be alert to do that. You cannot be in a dead zone to do that. That's impossible. That's impossible for any of our brothers and our sisters in the world to protect their soul. That's impossible. That can never be done. You have to be awake to protect what you possess. If you're not awake, you cannot possess. You cannot protect what you possess. You will destroy what you possess. That's why you see our brothers and our sister in the world. What they do? Clubbing, partying. I mean, think to destroy themselves. Like, for example, you know what I mean? Boyfriend and girlfriend destroy people, bring people to death. HIV, syphilis, destroy waste of people. Boyfriend and girlfriend destroy young women, young men. That's what we do when we don't have laws, when we're not awake. You understand? Three, four. How many men you been with? 20, 30, 40. How many women you been with? 130. You understand? That's guarantee that you're going you're gonna to destroy you without God's laws. Just look at society in a whole. I'm looking at this media, man. I look at this. I like, why would that sister feel to stand in the front of the camera and shake her booty? What is in her head to allow her to do such a thing? That's beyond attention, man. <laughs> That's a demonic spirit, man. <laughs> That's a demon. Let me you put a camera on you. Pop, pop. What's that? What is the gain out of that? That's some sickness, man. That's no self-respect. That's nothing. No morals. No nothing. Then it's not only single sister. Mary sister do the same thing. That's how you know it's a spirit. <laughs> Then why you shake your behind for? Why you married? Why you doing that? To show you the earth is covered by a demonic spirit. Our people sick. Our people is sick, man. But guess what? They'll be the first one to tell you, I love Christ. I'm a Christian. The same one you see shake that, I'm a Christian. Same one you see with that breast shot, I'm a Christian. Yep, I'm a Christian. Yeah, you are. You're a Christian. You're going to die as a Christian. <laughs> you understand? You're going to die. You understand? You think this is a game, you're going to die. Go ahead. Verse 28. And when all things shall be subdued unto him, then shall the Son also himself be subject unto him that put all things under him. Because all things was put in under Christ. Earth and the head was put in under Christ. You understand? To seduce everything. But guess what? Death must be seduced and enter to our world. Then we not, like people don't realize that, we as the sons of God, when death entered to our world, it's, it's killing us physically, mentally. You understand? That's why it's hard for you to keep the commandment because of sin. Because sin is everywhere. You understand? When sin entered to you, he, did, he cracked your bone, cracked everything that moved. You understand? It crack your, your mind. The, the way you're supposed to be thinking. You're out of sequence thinking. 
That's why you can think in that two men, there's nothing wrong with that. Two women is nothing. Think about it. That's the mindset alone showing you are sick. That's a disease. But they got people around here walking freely though. <laughs> they have life. They're walking freely being that demon. But that God is showing you something within the human race. You understand? It's easy to seduce by what you see in the world. But remember what God said. God said he's given us a straight commandment. What to do to observe? Punish. You understand? Not to be punished. But guess what? Look at the world in a whole. The world have everything. People have money. People have everything. But guess what? It's a sinful world. We start to believe people for, for what they have. Oh, he got a nice car. I believe him. He, got, he, got a, he look good. I believe him. He, uh, 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 he got good toes. I believe him. He got a big chest. I believe him. Something wrong with us, man. Oh, I like, I like him. I like, I, like, I like the way he cheats. I like him. What did about him you like? You don't know nothing about him. But people like you just because of the outside appearance. Not knowing that God said, God doesn't deal with the outside appearance. He said, men deal with that. You understand? Men deal with that. But God deal within, inside the man. You understand? And if it deal within, inside, guess where the voice come from? Inside or outside? It coming from inside. <laughs> so, you as a godly man, where are you supposed to be focused on? Inside. Because the inside you focus on is going to fix the outside automatically. <laughs> you see what I'm saying to you? The inside you focus on is automatically going to fix the, in the outside. Because whatever inside your mind, that's what you're going to do. Like for example, I I'm giving you an example. Let, uh, give me that Deuteronomy 4. Deuteronomy 4, give me the scripture, the verse. It's talking about God give the other nation, the, uh, the, the, the son. The, yes, give me that verse. Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 19. Go ahead. And lest thou lift up thine eyes unto heaven, and when thou seest the sun. Go above there. Read, read above there. Two verses. Yeah. Verse 16. Verse 16. Lest ye corrupt yourselves. Go above there. Uh, sorry, I'll put it there. Mm -hmm. Verse 13. And he declared unto you his covenant. Which Go above he... there. <laughs> <laughs> Go when Moses starts off. Yeah, okay, cool. yeah, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Verse 6. Keep therefore and do them. For this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. Mm -hmm. Which God given us wisdom, right? He's given us law, statutes, and commandment, right? Listen to this. Which shall hear all these statutes and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. If their people said, this great nation is a wise and understanding people. So what do what you think their people are going to follow? Who are their people going to follow? If you acknowledge these people are wise, who are you going to follow? Wise, right? Listen. For what nation is there so great who have God so nigh unto them? What nation that's so great that have God near unto them? God dealing with us. Go ahead. As the Lord our God is in all things that we call upon him for. You see that? God is in all things we call upon him for. You go, what a man can call upon God for? Sickness. Right? What a man can call upon God for? Food. Right? What a man can call upon God for? Clothing. What a man can call upon God for? Better life. Right? Okay, because that's what we suffer with. Sickness, food, clothing, shelter. Then we will pray for those things, right? Go ahead. Verse 8. And what nation is there so great that has statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law? which I set before you this day. Only take heed to thyself and keep thy soul diligently. Mm -hmm. Listen to what he said. Take heed to yourself. What I'm telling you, you follow. Take heed to yourself. Tell yourself, whatever, that, whatever I just heard, that's what I'm going to do. Take heed to yourself. Take heed to yourself. Go ahead. 
Lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen. Unless thou forget the things which your eyes have seen. What your eyes have seen? What your eyes have seen? What God is. How God dealing with us. You understand? We have everything. Sickness. We didn't have that. You understand? We thought, we thought, we thought, we thought a form of healing. You understand? Food, we had that. Clothing, we have that. Shelter, we had that. We had everything that the children of God is supposed to have. Go ahead. And lest they depart from thy heart all the days of thy life, but teach them thy sons and thy sons' sons. You see that? He said, make sure, take to yourself and teach your sons and your sons' son and daughters. You understand? Because they may know that Everything given from God. You understand? Everything given from God. Go ahead. Especially the day that thou stoodest before the Lord thy God in Horeb. Mm -hmm. When the Lord said unto me, gather me the people together, and I will make them hear my words, that they may learn to fear me all the days that they shall live upon the earth. Hey, let's read that part again, bro. I will make them hear my words. That they may learn to fear me all the days that they shall live upon the earth. What, what man shall fear? The word of God. They may learn to fear me all their life while they're living on earth. So why would God say that? Why would God say that? When we fear him, we keep the commandments. When we fear him, we're going to apply what he said to us. Because we know... You understand? When we don't feel him, anything can happen to us. You understand? Him as a protector, he said, if you feel me, I'm going to protect you from diseases, from all sickness. I'm going to protect you. I'm going to give you the best fruits. I'm going to give you the best place in the planet. Jerusalem was the best place in the planet. <laughs> you understand? I will give you the best leaders. Out of Israel, there is no leaders greater than coming out of the nation of Israel. Greatest leaders coming out of us. Christ coming out of the nation of Israel. Solomon, Moses. These men were great men. Elijah, Elisha. They're all coming out of, they're all coming out of the nation of Israel. These men were great men. When you listen to the nation, what great they were. The little great is only for a time. But the greatest of all great coming out of us. Go ahead. And that they may teach their children. And ye came near and stood under the mountain. And the mountain burned with fire unto the midst of heaven with darkness, clouds, and thick darkness. And the Lord spake unto you out of the midst of the fire. Ye heard the voice of the words, but saw no similitude. Only ye heard a voice. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And he declared unto you his covenant, which he commanded you to perform even ten commandments, and he wrote them upon two tables of stone. And the Lord commanded me at that time to teach you statutes and judgments. I want you to focus on something. He said, the Lord commanded me, after the Lord showed himself, right, in the mountain, right, to Israel, right? Notice what Moses said, the Lord commanded me to do what? At that time, to teach you statutes and judgments. You see that? Now Moses was what? Was a commander. <laughs> you understand? Moses was, a, was an ambassador. You understand? Moses was a prophet. Moses was a king. You understand? Because the Lord commanded him to teach laws, statutes, and commandments. So he's likewise, he's you. Your brothers who's coming up. You know what I mean? You've been commanded to teach what? Laws, statues, and commandments. But it's up to you what you want to do with it. Either you're going to take the command and, and, and learn, build your character, build your spirit up to get strong and go teach God's people. Or you can go back in the world, do what you do the best, ready for your death. That's what we do. We love death as a people. That's why we're in the condition we're in today. Because we love being in poverty. We love the poverty we're in. We love the white men over us. We feel comfortable with the white folks over us. We feel comfortable with China selling us all this garbage. You understand? We feel so comfortable. You understand? Black women, 
Yeah, she will sell her body for anything. Black men will sell his knowledge for anything. But not knowing that how special he is. God said you are his son. So when we know that, guess what we're going to have to do, family? We have to start thinking as gods do. Because we are the gods on earth. We better start thinking as gods do. You understand? Wherever we stand, we got to let the world know it's a God stand here. Know where you stand is holy ground. Don't come here with foolishness. You understand? Because you are the gods on earth. When you're the gods on earth, you set out, the, 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 you set out, you in control. <laughs> you in control. When you set a camp, you in control over any spirit that passes over your camp. You in control of that spirit. You understand? Because you, you was given power over that spirit. <laughs> you understand? You always remember that, brothers. Know your powers. <laughs> know where your power come from. It's not coming from down. It's coming from above. Go ahead. Verse 14. And the Lord commanded me at that time to teach you statutes and judgments that ye might do them in the land whither ye go over to possess it. Why would he say you might do them? Why would he, why would he say you might do them? Mm. Yeah, there's going to be some people who don't do it. Yeah. You have to listen to the words. The word is telling you some going to do it, some not going to do it when they get to the land. You understand? It says you might do them. So there's going to be some who's not going to do it. <laughs> Go ahead. That's like Paul said, Paul said to us, listen, let's read that. Paul make a statement said when Paul Let's get me that, 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 that thing when Paul said, in the congregation, there's going to be some wise up. Get me that. Because IUIC is a congregation, right? So Paul in the spirit telling us about congregation. What's going to happen inside congregation? Because the Bible says we must congregate, right? So Paul is telling us when we congregate, these things are going to happen to us. What is that? Yes. I'm going to show you all why you all don't listen. Because <laughs> you all moving out of your own emotion and feeling. Acts chapter 20 verse 29. For I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you. You see what Paul said? Paul said, what I'm, uh, when I left, it's going to be some spirit enter into this congregation. What the spirit, what do you call the spirits, the spirit that's going to enter? Grievous wolves. Okay. That's what he said. Go ahead. For I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, mm -hmm. not sparing the flock. You see, they're not here to spare. Them. They're not going to spare the flock. They don't give a damn about you. <laughs> Go ahead. Also of your own selves. You see that? Also of your own selves. Go ahead. Shall men arise. Shall men arise. As out of your own self, he's talking about the leaders. Also from you, men going to be a wise. Go ahead. Speaking perverse things. You see, they're going to speak perverse things. Go ahead. To draw away disciples after them. You see that? Why they will speak perverse thing is to join disciple after them. What's the perverse thing? Let's look at the word perverse. They're going to speak to join that, uh, to join people for people to follow them <laughs> yep <laughs> yep let's look let's look at this thing with a with a spiritual eyes and a spiritual ears the definition of perverse of a person or their actions <laughs> showing a deliberate and obstinate desire to behave in a way that is unreasonable or unacceptable Listen to what he's saying. A perverted mind, uh, uh, the scripture is explaining a perverted mind, right? Read what you just read again. Perverse. Of a person or their actions, showing a deliberate and obstinate desire to behave in a way that is unreasonable or unacceptable. Think about thing that is unreasonable, unacceptable. For example, unreasonable, right? Look at the word un unreasonable, right? Unreasonable is we all messed up here. Yes? So we all, we all messed up here. Guess what? We need the medicine. Yes? To build ourselves. That person that in a perverted mind is not going to accept that. <laughs> you understand? He's going to find problems. 
within us trying to fix ourselves. You understand? It's not going to fix no problem. It's going to find problems. You understand? Because his mind is perverted. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, the, sim uh, the similes. Awkward. Contrary. Difficult. Unreasonable. <laughs> uncooperative. Unhelpful. Obstructive. Disob uh, disobliging. Mm -hmm. Unaccommodating. Troublesome. Tiresome. <laughs> annoying. Vexatious. Mm -hmm. Obstreperous. Disobedient. <laughs> Uh, you, you're looking at that person that's going to rise up among the congregation who want to gather soul, his spirit ain't right. <laughs> That's what God's trying to tell you. Look, the perverted mind he had. Go ahead. Unmanageable. Uncontrollable. <laughs> Where we at? I cannot uh, wait for you to get to self-will. <laughs> uh, refractory. Rebellious. Mm -hmm. Willful, headstrong, self-willed. But guess what, brothers and sisters? The only way you're able to know these spirit come with perverseness, you have to have what? A spiritual eyes, a spiritual ears. Yes or no? Because it's not going to come with that, with, that, with that thing that we just read, but his mentality, his way is going to show you that brother ain't right. You understand? Why would he think like that? He ain't right. Because his perverted mind is to try to gain soul, to follow after he's dumb behind. Then some of you are dumb enough to follow him. Go ahead. Uh, Capri Cap what was that? Capricus? Oh, Capricious. Mm -hmm. oh, Wayward, cross game, stubborn, <laughs> obstinate, obdurate, uh, pertinacious, mm -hmm. mullish, pig headed, <laughs> bull headed. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> intractable. <laughs> Intran intransigent, uh, inflexible, uh, thrown, cussed, bloody minded. Did, did you went to the line that said uh, rebellion, willful? You went to that line already? Go to that line. Uh, uncontrollable, relactric, uh, recalcitrant. These are words that these are demons we don't know. <laughs> I mean, that demon we do know is self will. You understand? These are true demons we don't know. Y'all know that, right? Go ahead. Refractory, rebellious, will. See, we know a demon that is rebellion. You understand? But some words that the demon is, you see, the word they use is just like SR sick that demon is. Go ahead. We just, you just brush that thing, go through the things we do know, we do understand. Go ahead. Willful, headstrong, self willed. You see that? That brother is going to be self-will. What make him self-will? Look at his age in the truth. I mean, if y'all dumb, y'all don't know. Extra brother, what is your age? How do you been in the truth? That's how you're going to know this is self-will. You understand? If y'all confused, any brother that's tell you to follow them, say, brother, how do you been in the truth? Because Deacon Lava told me that's my key to find out demon. How long you been in the truth? Almost, oh, you that damn demon. You that damn demon. You that, you understand? You have to, that's the key. I'm telling you. Ask the brother, brother, yeah, I see you got a good class. All of you in this truth, just let me, some of you who confused when you're in that class, whatever, demonic spirit, they say, brother, I got a question. Are all of you in this truth? Then listen to what his response is. His response gonna tell you he's a self will. His response gonna tell you. He, uh, he's a rebellion spirit. His response going to tell you all these demonic spirit contrary. Is, is my going to tell you that? You understand? But ask him one question. How old are you in this truth? Then he's going to tell you, Samuel was young. Samuel was young under Eli. Samuel did not know when the Lord called Samuel. Daniel was up under elite men. He know the, he know the laws. That just said he was a young man. <laughs> you understand? Then he brought up in the law. So you cannot compare yourself to Daniel, you dumb Negroes. Been in this truth for 30, you've been in this world for 30 years, just been learning for three years. You just want to compare yourself to Daniel? You dumb idiot, ashy black devil, you. Something wrong with you. Go ahead. That's it. That's it. Now let's go back to the verse. 
for your dumb Negroes. <laughs> Acts chapter 20, verse 29. For I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Not sparing the flock. They don't give a damn about you. Listen to their language alone. Their language tell you, they're saying that I'm going to burn it to the ground. I'm going to burn it to the ground. That's not what some of them say. So what about you? You think they give a damn about you? But by, by them talking like that, they're showing you they don't care. Like, for example, if I do something, you understand, then IUIC is checking me for what? You that's some sister I'm friend with. That's, that's some deacon I'm dear friend with. So why would I feel like to go on YouTube and speak evil just because the friendship I have with some sisters, such the friendship I have with some brother, my mind would not allow me to do so. My spirit would not allow me to do so. You understand? Because I got friends there. You see what I'm saying to you? I have to accept my judgment. Then I have to come stronger. But if my mind is perverted, Guess what? I'm going to try to join soul. You understand? Don't follow me, sis. Don't follow me, brother. You understand? That's how you have to see things, man. You cannot see things out of your own mind. Talk about this, my friends. They're hell with him. They're hell with her. Start looking at things spiritually, man. I'm telling you. Go ahead. Verse 30. Also of your own selves. Shall men arise? You see that? It said, also of your own leaders are going to be men that are wise. Because Paul is talking about congregational, yes? What is IUIC? IUIC is a congregation, yes? So Paul in the spirit warning you and I. And say, be very mindful inside the congregation. That's going to be demon arise. Perverted mind going to be arise. It's going to be some of your leaders with perverted mind who's going to try to join people after them. And which one of them who left us then try that? Name me one. <laughs> so the Bible is a true book. <laughs> the Bible is a true book. <laughs> which one of them that left that did not try that? Name me one. All of them did that. So the Bible is a true book. Let's continue we. Verse 30. But at first, though, when that first come, that, that wants you to, yo, yo, listen, you know, they're doing this to me. They're doing that to me. So, brother, you're a kid, right? They're doing this to you. They're doing that to you. Are you a kid? If you believe you're a kid, what you going to do? You're going to humble yourself and put your trust in who? Who said who over you? Man, you're going to trust in God, Right? To showing you that don't believe. <laughs> That's what the that Lord trying to show you. That was already condemned. <laughs> Go ahead. Verse 30. Also of your own selves shall men arise, speaking perverse things to draw away disciples after them. Mm. Go ahead. Therefore, watch and remember. That's not what Paul said. Therefore, what we going to do? Watch. Then did y'all watch 2018? No, some of you did not watch. The devil come. Shh. Then they, I'm here to tell you the devil gonna return again. Which one of y'all who's who stay watching? I guarantee he's gonna take some of y'all. I guarantee, cause some of y'all ain't right. Some of y'all ain't right. He's gonna come and take some of y'all. Go ahead. Therefore, watch and remember. That by the space of three years, I cease not to warn everyone, every one night. <laughs> Listen to what Paul said, man. Paul said what he did for straight three years. Therefore, watch and remember that by the space of three years, I cease not to warn every one night and day with tears. <laughs> That's what Paul want us to understand in the spirit of Christ. That's why we want your guys to understand. Three years. Before 2018 come. Three years solid. Night and day. Seven. Uh, 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 what's that? Uh, seven. Uh, what's that? Class seven. Three times a day. Seven days a week. Night and days. We establish that. Then when Satan come. They can lie. But can you explain to me the new moon? I heard. I heard they can lie. But I heard. 
Yeah, brother, you've been teaching in the street for two years. Three, you don't know the new moon is dark. You don't know. You don't know. Oh, can you explain to me the Sabbath? Can you explain to me the Sabbath, Dike Laba? For three years, think about it. The Lord said, when the Lord revealed the new moon, you understand, he says, a bright moon. Bishop Netanyahu did not come and push his own agenda. Bishop Netanyahu laid down that thing in the deacon's table. He said, what you all think? We went tell. At first, Deacon Laton did not get it. And you know, Deacon Laton said, hey, man, you sure? And he, you know, Deacon Laton, I mean, that brother, he's still with his. You understand? He go, he go deep in to the words. He said, I got to find it out. But we learned that thing when we was in Ghana. Then we have to go over it. When we end in the U.S., you give it to something, hey, you'll go over it. Then we come with that solution. That's true. A dumb Christian in the world said, you know what? I don't like how you I see, but this is these brothers that know the scriptures. You understand? Know, a dumb Christian know that. <laughs> now you're trying to compare you to a hundred something years. You've only been in the truth for three, three years, four years. This is a hundred something years a, 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 a table right here. So, so God going to choose you, deal with you that been with Five years instead of dealing with a hundred years, people who got who have experience. That's what you're trying to tell me. So my God is a fool then if he would have do such a thing. God doesn't deal like that. God deal with his elect. You understand? God deal with men he's already set up. You understand? God is not a fool. You a fool. You understand? We want you to understand that. So us preaching every day, us winning the Sabbath class, us teaching you how to behave us teaching you what to look for us every class we talk about gain your soul don't let nobody remove you out of here then when the Satan come you think you remember what we taught you now all your emotion break loose all your feeling oh I think that's the worst thing a man can have to think <laughs> because God already think already <laughs> so all you have to do is follow God don't want you to think. God say, I'm going to think for you. This is the law. <laughs> no, 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 no. I want to think for myself. I'm a man. I want to think for myself. That's it. Go ahead and think then. Go ahead and think. Do your thinking. Then come with the solution. Tell me what you think. <laughs> God doesn't deal like that. That's what you don't understand. Anywhere and every place you see a law, that means that person is dictate their place. I'm saying it again. Any place you see a law. Like you go into your job, there's a law. What time to show up? What time to leave? Guess what? There's a leader there. <laughs> because he's the order being given there. But why when you get to the truth now, you confuse? Because you're dumb. <laughs> because you're dumb. Go ahead. Verse 31. Therefore, watch and remember... That by the space of three years, I cease not to warn everyone night and day with tears. You see that? With tears. Because Paul can see it in the spirit. Some dumb, some of y'all so dumb, he, he cried for y'all. That's what the tears was for, for the dumb ones. Ah, Lord, I wish the sister got it. I wish the brother, their brother stopped wake out crying. Because he knew some of y'all was dumb. <laughs> you understand? You're not going to... Uh, 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 watch, you're not going to pray, you're not going to fast, you're not going to do none of that. All you're going to do is eat chicken. That's it. Paul, see that thing. All you're going to do is eat pork chops. That's it. Paul, see that thing. He cried for your simple behind. Because he said he teach your night and days one in every soul. There's going to be some wise up among you. They ain't going to be right. They're going to have, they're going to come with a perverted mind. We read about the word perverted. They ain't right. Their spirit ain't right. You understand? Their job is trying to gain soul. Get me that scripture, silly woman. Then you notice that when these perverted mind come in the body, guess who they're drawing the most? Sisters. So God is telling you, your sisters, something wrong with you. You need to check that feeling, that emotion thing, that, that your own opinion things. You got to let it go. 
You got to let it go. God is telling you something about the woman's side. Go ahead. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 6. For of this sort are they which crept in, into houses and led captive silly women. <laughs> laden. The verse. The yes, sir. Verse 5. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. Because they're going to come with fringes. We've been a blue. They're going to come with all that. They look like they're righteous men. They look like they're righteous sister. Because if they don't look like they're you, they get away from me. They look like they're about the Lord business. They look like they love the Lord. They look like they come with the instruction of the Lord. Look at the Pharisee. When you're looking at these dudes, they're a wicked dude, man. Go ahead. Verse 5. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. Because, you see, they look like they're godly, but they deny the power. They deny Christ. They deny him. They hate their brother. They hate their neighbor. <laughs> they deny that. Go ahead. From such, turn away. You see what the Bible said? From such a spirit, turn away. Go ahead. For of this sort are they which, crept or which creep into houses. You see that they're creeping to houses. Today, how they're creeping to your house. Let me see who's paying attention here. How they're creeping to our house today. Go ahead, brother. Light-skinned brother. Go ahead, brother. I never like light-skinned, but I like you, though. For some reason, you're good, brother. Go shalom, ahead. Deacon, shalom. Happy Sabbath. Happy uh, Sabbath. Through the internet, they creep into your house. Yes. Through the internet. To movies. To, uh, to whatever you want to... Whatever. You understand? To the media. They creep into your house. Oh, you know... Did you did you did you watch that video? The brother that left you watch, you, watch, you, watch, you did you watch it? He said, No, I don't need to watch that. No, you need to watch that. No, I don't, I'm not watching that. I'm good. I'm still here. What the hell I'm watching a guy who left? What the hell, what's the point of me watching? He's left. <laughs> There's nothing I can do for him. He left. He left me in a battlefield that you want me to watch his video. That's how stupid we are. <laughs> he left me in a battlefield when I need him. To comfort me when I'm weak. You understand? He left you in a battlefield. Then you want me to watch his video. That makes sense to your guys? He left you in a war zone. Then somebody call you. Yo, you need to watch this video. Well, you need to watch. No, but I'm good, man. You need to watch that. I'm good. I'm good where I'm at. I'm good. These are your temptation. You understand? That These are the people you need to look out for. You understand? Go ahead. Verse 6. And you say, yo, why I need to do that? Let, let leadership deal with that. If it's something, leadership going to deal with that. I mean, I'm going to leave it alone. I don't need to watch that. Go ahead. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and led captive silly women. You see that? They led captive silly women. You see that? They left you captive. You know what I mean? When you watch that thing, you sit on the TV. By the things that the demonic spirit said, oh, I think he's telling some truth there. Let me call his sister. Hello? Shalom. Shalom. Most high Christ bless you. Yes, sis. How was your day? Everything good? Mm -mm. The sister, the other sister said, oh, What was you doing today? Oh, girl, I was watching a video. You never see that video on YouTube? You remember that? You remember that brother that used to be with IUIC? That brother was a good brother, man. I'm telling you, you remember one time my car broke down? He the one who come and fix my tire? You remember that brother? What was that brother? Yeah, Michael. You remember Michael? Light skin Michael, man. Yeah. Good brother, man. I don't know what happened to that brother. You understand? All I, all I, all I was doing, I was watching that video. He said, why he left IUIC? You need to watch that. These brothers, man, I don't know. You need to watch that. Then the sister says, sis, what do you mean I need to watch what? Oh, no, I said, I said, I said, uh, if you have a chance, you can watch it. <laughs> Your, their language changed. Their language changed so quick. No, sis, you know, I, I was just watching. That brother crazy. I mean, that brother crazy. Now he's crazy now. He was a good brother. Now, soon you catch her. Oh, no, that brother crazy. But I thought you said she, he's a good brother, sister. What happened to crazy? Now he's crazy now. Because I catch up to your, to your demonic spirit, to your perverted spirit. 
You got to see that lingo is going to change when you catch them. So no, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't tell you watch that. I tell you that, that brother, you need to uh, don't watch stuff like that. They can get in your spirit. Be very mindful who your friends is in this truth. Be very mindful, brothers, who your friend is. Who your friend is going to determine who you are. I'm saying again, who your friend is in this truth is going to turn, determine who you are. What you're going to be in this truth. So be around brother, like the scripture said, godly men, godly women. That, that been proved. You heard me? Not godly woman. You just see fringes and a ribbon of blue. You just say, oh, she's a godly woman. No, godly woman that, 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 that already been proved. You understand? That means that you need to know. Yo, uh, Deacon, that sister right here, I'm concerned with. What, what report she got? She, she good people? But you, you doing it in secret. Oh, sis, sis. They go my number. Call me sometime. We go over, okay? We go over the scripture. You don't know nothing about that, that damn visual. You just get here. You know, in the, you know, in uh, there's a slogan in in, 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 in Haiti, like uh, people who saying that. Listen, when you come to a place, you see everybody dancing in one feet. You dance in one feet. If you see everybody dancing two feet, you dance in two feet. That means that you just got here. You understand? How the hell a sister gonna uh, you call me? Then you're not proving that sister. That sister don't know. You don't know that sister. You don't know what kind of sister she is. So you need to check with leadership. That sister right here, give me her number. You think she legit with y'all? That's when you're dancing in one feet. You come here dancing in two feet. I feel sorry for you. <laughs> Everybody in one feet, you want to dance in two feet. I feel sorry for you. Oh, no, no, no. She's a good sister. She's a good brother. No. When you see everybody dancing in one feet, stand in one feet. You understand? X. Deacon Lamba, that sister. Oh, officer, that sister, give me the, her number. She good with, uh, she good with leadership? She, she, she's an she's a, she's okay sister? But you, you keep the secret. Down the line, what you think she's going to do to you? Down the line, what you think he's going to do to you? Because you don't follow principle. You understand? You don't follow principle. Why do you think the scripture say, prove a friend? Why do you think the scripture say that? You think God didn't have nothing else to say? It? He just said, prove a friend? Why do you think he's saying that? So, prove a friend, you just come here. Do you know that person? Did you prove that person? So, what the hell are you doing in the phone talking with that person? You, 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 see, you see me, why are you found to be stupid and dumb? Because you not follow the protocol. You not follow the blueprint. Now you confound it. Now the person confound. Yo, you know what? I'm leaving. Now. I'm going to join this other camp. Then you simple. You not. You not. You not thinking. You say, Yo, why you left? No, I don't think they're right. I don't think they. Then you notice. Let me show you something about people that that looking to destroy congregation. People that looking to destroy congregation, they ain't going to leave. Let, 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 let me say it again. The people that are looking to destroy people, he, her mind and, and his mind, he don't plan to live until, until he or her get what? Caught. <laughs> I'm saying it again. He or her need to get caught. That's when they leave. But as far as like them talking about I'm out, they're never going to do it. You understand? Because they want to destroy as much as they want to destroy you understand? It's just like, a, 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 for example, a, a woman that is a hoe. Cheat on her husband. If she's a hoe, she's never going to stop the hoe them until she get what? Caught. She have to get caught. You understand? Because if she was right, she would have get in her sense and say, damn, I messed up. <laughs> At least we feel the demonic spirit. When you see you get caught... Then you're not repenting the right way. Then you always point the finger of who did what. What happened to you. Why you did what. Why this and that. Listen. At the end of the day. You have to tell yourself. I messed up. Let me fix myself. Always remember that. Anytime you're being checked for something. Check yourself. Tell yourself. We can do better next time. Don't point the finger of nobody. Then you're not going to hurt good report about you in the first place. If you do something wrong, you think you're going to hurt good report about you? Y'all better help me out. 
You do something wrong. Who's gonna good, good who's gonna stand in your behalf, speak good about you? When everybody hurt for what you do. But people don't know that. So when they start to hurt and people say, their sister ain't right, their brother ain't right. Oh, why would she talk to me about that? She don't know me. You give her the doorway to talk, to talk like that. <laughs> but if your door was closed, you never talk like that. You give her the doorway. What is the doorway? Sin. Sin is the doorway. Sin was the doorway. Go ahead. So it's time for us to accept us and fix you instead of pointing finger. Pointing finger ain't going to help you. The day of judgment, pointing finger to Christ, is just like you already dead. <laughs> you understand? You pointing finger to anybody, you already dead. Go ahead. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 6. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sin. You see that? They're telling you this, those type of perverted spirit, you know what I mean? They're searching out for, for silly sisters. They're full of sin. They never fix themselves. These spirit that wise up, they're looking for their sisters. They come up in here, it's class after class, warning after warning. She never get none of it. She break bread, drink the wine. She don't see it as nothing. It's just a regular wine. It's just a regular bread. You dumb, stupid. The, the wine and bread represent that you believe what the Bible said. It's just like I said to him. I, I said, hey, brother, uh, okay, uh, uh, let me shake your hand. I said, okay, we're going to get this business doing. Then we shake hand. You sign. The bread represents you sign. You sign to the agreement. You're going to keep the commandments. <laughs> That's what the bread represents. You sign to the agreement. <laughs> You're going to keep the commandment. Then when you find yourself years one, year two, year three, year four, year five, you still in base one. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Something wrong with you. Something wrong with you. If a sister felt to feel comfortable to come to you, speak evil of another soul, something wrong with you. <laughs> That's how you have to start look at things. Yo, sis, why would, you, why would you say that? Sis, stop. Why would you say that? You got to show her you mad. Sis, why would you say that? That's evil. I don't come here for this. You understand? Guess what? Each one of us here is our eyes for the Lord. Yes or no? So why would you agree a person just speak evil of somebody the Lord anointed to be a leader over you? Why would you allow that? <laughs> Unless something wrong with you. You feel me? Something wrong with you. Man, but guess what? Some of y'all listen to it. Then I didn't say nothing. I just listened to it. <laughs> then down the line, that spirit of yours who listen to it, they're going to become their sick brother, their sick sister. A lot of y'all be looking at y'all. Just by a just by look at y'all, I know that y'all ain't going to last here that long. Because you know how I know y'all ain't going to last? Because... Y'all refuse to tell yourself, shut the hell up. That's how I know you're not going to survive. Y'all refuse to say, self, listen, man. Be quiet, man. <laughs> Y'all refuse to tell yourself that. I don't want to hurt you right now. You understand? Y'all refuse to tell yourself that. So there another body going to, guess what he or her going to do? He's going to seduce you by a thing that you were supposed to know already. You understand? Love your neighbor. As you love yourself. That's why you're on this door. That's why you're sitting here, man. For the Lord to show you how to love your neighbor as you love yourself. Then by doing that, the Lord going to give you his laws, his statutes, his commandments. You understand? That's what you're here for. How to love your neighbor as you love yourself. Then when the Lord see that, you start loving your neighbor as you love yourself. He's going to give you more wisdom, more knowledge, more understanding. But when you sit here. You allowed people to speak evil of a brother, even though he's not in leadership. Or sister, he's not in leadership. You agree with that? Because you the evil. You wicked as hell. I'm telling you. Go ahead. Verse 6. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and led captive silly women that's laden why, with sins. That's why you will talk to brothers. You say, brother, how long you been here? Brother say, oh, I've been here long. How long? 
Oh, seven. Maybe eight years. Maybe nine years. Maybe ten years. Uh, maybe three years, four years. You like? You been here four years? You been here three years? Why are you still a brother? <laughs> you have to consider that. <laughs> Yo, why are you still a brother? What, what, what's going on? Why are you still a brother? Oh no, you know, you know, you know. He got all type of story to tell you. You know. Oh, oh, brother, why did I take away uh, your privilege? Why did I take your wink? Oh, oh, what? Oh, no, nah, no, nah, you know, uh, uh, people lying on me. People, yeah, people do this in me. Leadership don't like me. They're, those are evil people. Those are evil people. Instead of st- saying that, yo, brother, I ain't right. Oh, no, people ain't right. That means you watch this, leadership is evil. <laughs> so who went that take off? Leadership or yours? They don't understand that God give great. Understand that God gives prosperity. Understand that. You understand that? So when you understand that, you understand that any brothers you see that, that take their wink, you see them speak evil, is because they're evil. You say, brother, why did they take your wink? His answer should be like, brother, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to fix myself. I'm going through things. You see that he have an explanation why they take his wink? That brother right here is the devil. I'm saying it again in case you don't understand. Any brother, you see that take their wink. Yes, take our wink. Then you ask the brother, brother, you good? Why they take your wink? His answer should be, brother. Like, I remember I was in the world. Then these guys see me. He said, yo, why you up in here? I mean, like, I learned in the street language where, where, where you don't tell people nothing. You understand? I learned that in the street. That dude gonna see me talking about why you in here? Why? Why? I'm, how I am here? I said, obviously I'm in here for a reason. <laughs> I don't need to tell you why I'm up in here <laughs> because I know if I tell you any information, I might. Now I'm in court. I see you coming and show my information. So I said, brother, obviously I'm here for a reason. That's all you need to know. <laughs> oh no, 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 brother, you might be in the fuck. Okay, brother, if that's what you think, I'm good with that. <laughs> I don't care about what you think. But I'm not going to tell you why I'm here. <laughs> you understand? Let, let's use that in a spirit level. Right? Now the brother going to tell you that, brother, yo, why they take away your wink? Your answer should be like the same answer I give that dude. I'm here for a reason. They take my wink for a reason. I need to get myself together. That's all you need to tell the brother. They take my wink for a reason. I need to get myself together, brother. Then you, you, If you see that spirit have anything to say about leadership, that spirit is an evil spirit. That spirit needs to be checked. You understand? Don't say I did not want y'all and be very mindful. That's what I tell you guys. I said like, I tell you guys that how humble I'm going to be. That take away my wink, that person that take away my wink, if I'm going to want deacons, I'm going to say deacons talk to bishop for me, pray for me, that, that, that I make a good return, man. Then guess what? The deacon that are my friends, guess what? I'm going to call him every day. Yo, brother, talk to Bishop for me, man. You know what I'm saying? I need to come back to that, man. I need to tell me what I need to do, man. Talk to Bishop for me, man. You understand? Then in camp, you might see me pop up in your camp. Just sit in the flow. Write in notes. That's, how, that's humble. But a lot of brothers that thinking wink make you. Wink doesn't, wink doesn't make you, brother. The laws of God make you. <laughs> you understand? Stop thinking wink make you, man. Wink is for order's sake. For you to follow order. You understand? But guess what? Learning the commandment, applying the commandment is above wink. You understand? Because you're going to love your brother as you love yourself, man. And you're sitting here, you're sitting here just being demonic. Instead of fixing yourself, you sit sitting there speak evil of things you don't know nothing of. Or the reason, the reason they don't give me no wink because I'm not a, I don't kiss ass. Brother, I, I guess you need to kiss ass then. <laughs> I guess you need to kiss ass because I'm looking at your spirit all messed up. <laughs> that's, that's, that's how you heard that from brothers, man. Then why would you be a brother talk like that? Why would you call yourself a brother talking like that? Because you ain't right. How would you be a sister talk like that? Because you ain't right. Oh, hey, sister, why are you not in the kitchen no more? You know, they don't know nothing that's good, you know? I, I, I did this for the kitchen. I did that for the kitchen. They've got some time. I have to put my own money in the kitchen. 
But the sister did not tell you that. She should not ask you that. The question is, why did they take you out from the kitchen? Just get to the point. They didn't ask you, uh, uh, did you put money in the kitchen? They did not ask you, did you do that for the kitchen? What did you do for the kitchen? They did not say, sister, why did they take you out of the kitchen? That's a strict question. Oh, sister, they take me out of the kitchen because I guess leadership don't see me fit for now. Maybe down the line, they might put me back. That's a humble spirit. But you know that, 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 that perverted mind? Nah, nah, nah. Let me see how. I, let me see what that. Let me see what they're gonna do in the kitchen. Let me see the kitchen. Think about the words they use, man. The word they use is demonic words. Let me see. Let, uh, 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 since they take me out of the kitchen, let me see if the kitchen gonna continue. They don't know that I bring something good to the kitchen. They hell with them. They need me, sister. Nobody needs you. Nobody needs you. If you're not in the spirit, nobody needs you. <laughs> you understand? You need to get the hell out of here. You understand? We only want to work with the sisters that keep their commitment. They understand that we need to be built. So what? Their kitchen going to have problems. So what? Let's fix it. Guess what? Brother's going to have problems. Guess what? Let's fix it. That's solution. But when they take you out of the kitchen, you feel like to talk all negative, uh, not positive. Something wrong with that spirit. That's how your guy's going to catch it. That person, you ask a simple question. By the time you finish with that person, you're going to see that like they went like to a 20-page. To a like your sis, why did, <laughs> why you go crazy? All I ask you one question. Then you're going to notice she never answered the question. <laughs> I'm telling you, the demonic spirit never answered the question. You know, they say, sis, why did they take it? You know, <laughs> like, did you, you answer, did you answer my, uh, you want to, can you answer my question, please? <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Y'all, y'all don't think I know what I'm talking about. Wait whenever they're taking the kitchen. Go ask your sister why they take you in the kitchen. If she a holy sister, she's going to say, sis, I guess leadership see that some things I was not doing. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pray the Lord they get me back in the kitchen, man. You know what I mean? Plead with them they get me back in the kitchen. I didn't mean to do that. I mean, I, I didn't see things like that. Now they, they check me on it. I see it better now. But you see her, you ask her the simple question. She feel like to tell you, to, to, to watch you a, a, a 10-page letter. Something wrong with their spirit. You understand? Oh, brother, why, why are you not an officer? Why are you not an officer? Oh, no, you know. Uh, uh, I said, I said, no, I cheated on the text. <laughs> he won't tell you. No, you know, you know, uh, uh, you know. He never answered the question. <laughs> you have to talk straight and direct as a man. Yo, why is this happening? Brother, I did this, I did that. Then I'm going to take full charge of it. I'm going to fix myself. Pray for me, brother, that the Lord bring me back. You understand? Strengthen me back. Oh, the same thing, sister. Pray for the sister. The sister bring back. But if you sit there, listen to negative, because you ain't right yourself. You need to check yourself. Go ahead. Verse 6. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and led captive silly women laden with sins. So your sister have to do a lot of works so you don't find yourself to be the silly woman. Go ahead. Led away with diverse lust. You see that? Their sister that followed their perverted mind, she full of lust. That's what God said. That's not my words. You know that lust she full of? When, when, when we tell her that, sis, wait for a year for a Lord. Her lust her loss is so, is, so, is so up there that she's looking for any way to bail out. <laughs> nah, I wait for a year. What the hell they think they are? I wait for a year. This thing, need, this thing, this thing here needs to be beat down. Talk about wait for a year. <laughs> wait for a year? I mean, I never wait for a year. And no way, I never do three days without it. Talk about wait for a year. That's like I'm coming to suicide. No, nah, sister, you need to wait for the year. And we, 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 we fresh yourself, man, from the, from the mindset. I mean, get a, get a Lord. That's all you're doing is get a Lord. But don't feel like your lust is, you, know, you, don't know, you don't know what I'm feeling. You don't know, you know Paul said, get a, no, no, sis, listen. Listen, you ain't ready yet. You want me to tell you the truth? You ain't ready yet. Oh, no, deacon, you don't understand, deacon. You know, you know, how you know I'm not ready? You come and ask me. I did not call you. You call me. You ask me. So I'm telling you, 
You're not ready yet. Now you're talking back. So why call me? Why ask me? <laughs> hey, you see what I'm saying to you? I mean, you're talking, you're doing all that talking because you're not listening. You come to me, you ask me, D, you think I'm ready for a Lord? I say, sis, if I was you, I'll wait. I'll wait it. You call me. I did not call you. You call me. So I told you, if I was you, I'll wait it. Then a week later, I see you do your thing. I'm like, oh, the sister doing her thing. Me, me, when I see you do your thing, I'm sitting back watching where, where your thing going to bring you. <laughs> your thing is going to bring you nowhere back to the here right here. <laughs> your brother, security man. My man, stand up. Stand right here. Stand right here. Stand right here. Stand right here. And put the camera in the dude. You see? His own will is going to bring him back here. You understand? His own, when he decides to do his own thing, he's going to stand right there. You understand? But guess what? He came to me and said, yo, D, how do I do that? I said, brother, you ain't ready yet. He said, oh, D, yeah, yeah, you right, D. Then a week later, I saw you doing your thing. Guess where I'm going to see you next time? Right here. Then guess what? Guess who's going to judge you that day? All right, brother, have a seat. Thank you. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. You're in the spirit. Go ahead. Verse 7. Ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge. You listen to, you listen to what the scripture said. Their sister never learned a damn thing. Never come to the knowledge and understand love her sister as she love herself. This perverted man is looking for sisters like that. They can have them speak evil of congregation on, on Facebook, on YouTube. That perverted mind is looking for sisters like that. Never come to learning. To understand, love your neighbor as you love yourself. You're thinking that's my word. Read it again, bro. Ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. You see that? But how many bread she break here, man? How many, uh, 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 how much wine she drink here, man? How many promises she made, man? She never come to the conclusion. Uh, con what's the word? Conclusion of learning the knowledge. She never come to that conclusion. Why? She end to gossip. Why? She's here to destroy. She's not here to build. You understand? That's why she never learned anything. Then now that same sister talking about, I don't know why they don't put me over the kids. I, I, I don't know why they don't, they don't put me in the circles to teach other sisters. Or, I, or you know, I, I, I've been here 10 years. I don't know why, why, why. No, no, why? You know why. Because you're sick. <laughs> That's why. You're sick. Some of y'all want leadership over, over the, especially your sister. Y'all want to tell sisters what to do. My, my thing to you is, if you want to tell sister what to do, you have to be listening to your husband. You understand? A lot of you don't listen to your husband. Then you want to tell sisters what to do. But your first humbleness should be to who? To your Lord, your husband. And now you're going to play, watch your sister among the sisters. No. It doesn't go out like that. You understand? As I, I used to tell my people, I used to say, listen, man, who's going to say you watch us? I'm going to say you watch us. Because I live with you every day. Who's going to say you watch this? Your Lord going to say you watch it Because he's, he's with you every day. You, you sleep behind and you do this and that. Then sometimes you call a sister. Sister don't even have a Lord. She been dead. dead you say, sis. Yeah, what's up with you and the sister here? No, you know. She don't like me, Deacon. She don't do it. I say, sis, sis, hey. What's wrong with you and the sister here over there? What you about to tell me? Is that past or future? Or prison? What you about to tell me? Is that the past or prison? What is one with you, that sister over there? Oh, you don't understand, Deacon. A year ago, yeah, she did that to me. She did this to me. I say, sis, are you listening to yourself? Or oh, you need me to record you? Maybe play it back to you. Maybe I can put some senses into you. You telling me something about a year ago? That sister did this to you, that to you? Where's the love of your neighbor? Where's the love of that, 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 that the same love God reached out to you, to you in the day of torment? Where was that love that threw a spray to the sister, to a spray it to the brother? Where was that love at the day of atonement? Where was that love? The love where the Lord could have put your simple behind to death. He spared you. Why you cannot spare the sister? A lot of us sick. 
You understand? You need to ask brothers and sisters when that happened. What you talking about when that happened? Oh, a year ago. Sister, what the hell are you talking about? A year ago. Day of Atonement just passed. Oh, no, no, I just want you to listen to me a year ago. No, no, I don't need to listen to nothing you have to say. A year ago, show me you got spirit on you. A year ago, show me you have, you dealing with bitterness. A year ago, show me you got hatred. What about the Lord killed that dude? You see, a year ago, he did that to you. Then how are you going to feel? You never come to him and say, brother, you offend me. Sister, you offend me. How would you feel? Now that brother dead, now that sister dead, you never have a chance to go to go to the brother, to go to the sister applying the scriptures. Gain your brother, gain your sister. How would you feel? He died now. You hold that grudge. You could not come to him and say, brother, you offend me. You think that the brother know he offend you, but you, you, see, he, you, you see how he talk. You Why not go to him? Why not gain the brother? Instead of sitting in the back, just speak evil of the brother. And he ain't right. He ain't do this. He ain't do that. No, something wrong with you. Go to that brother 101, man. These are the spirit. Read the end of the verse again. Verse 7. Ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. You see that? Never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. You don't want to be that brother. You don't want to be that sister. Never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Never came to the knowledge and understand that thing. Because guess what? Leviticus 19 in verse 7, no, 17. I mean, you see a brother error, you check it. That's what 17 is talking about. Leviticus 5 in 1 is you heard evil, you mention it. Uh, uh, Matthew 18, a brother or sister offends you, you apply Matthew 18. Then they go, sister. A sister, another sister going to tell the sister, hey, listen, shalom, sister. Or oh, you know, then some of you will be going to their complaint form, man. Some of you will be sick. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're good. Yeah, they're good. You know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what you think? Let me tell you something. Now, I think I should report the leadership. The sister said to another sister, I think I should report leadership. What do you think I should do? You think I should go to the, to, to the box, report them? The sister, the sister would come and say, what happened? Oh, you know, uh, 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 six months ago or seven months ago, you know, that brother or the sister did this to me and that to me. And the sister said, but sister, you, they all told me they already passed. Well, 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 why were you? They all told me passed. So if you have anything, they have to be right now. You have something right now. But let me tell you something about going in the box. Then I'm going to tell you some, how sick some of you are. Listen, you imagine if Christ was going in a box for you, you would have been dead already. You understand? If Christ will go in a box for you, you would have been dead already. So my advice to your dumb spirit is make sure at least you confront the person you have the complaint about. Hey, leadership, this is what I see. That's what I tell your brothers that, your, then, then your sister, if you have any complaint, why the note, just give it to the leadership. Yeah, you can put your name on it if you want. But this is your complaint. Then see what he's going to do about it. But, but let's say that you win it once. He's not doing nothing about it. You win it twice. He's not doing nothing about it. If I was you, I'd go straightly to him and say, brother, I love you. You remember I, I sent out two notes. I know you read it because I was looking at you from eyes. I give it to you. I know you read it. I'm going to go to the complaint form, complain about the letter I give you, what I wrote on that. So you can never say I'm evil because I warned you what was going on in the body. You choose not to address it. You choose not to fix it. You understand? That's a holy system. You understand? You go in a box, you, you will put whatever you want. I, I applaud you on that. And, but sister, if it's a little things, I mean like things that, that should have been fixed, little kitchen things, a little thing you want to be, 
That like a lot of a lot of your sisters, what's wrong with your sister? Then they're probably the sister that's over your that's more younger than you, but her husband is a is a is a wink, a husband. Then a lot of your 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 look down on the little sister. Like she cannot say nothing that, that that's gonna uh, 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 uplift you. Don't think like that. Because he take uh, she take order from who? From her Lord. Her Lord is an officer. You understand? She ain't doing her own thing. You understand? So be very mindful how you deal with that sister. But a lot of y'all, you're like, you're like, you're like, you're like to see evil. Like because you're evil. You better off just fix your congregation. You to, you you better just fix what the problem is. Their complaint is not gonna help you. Unless it's a legit complaint. But if it's a petty complaint, sis, come on now. Or, or, or because, uh, uh, what's the complaint? It's because I want to do something for the body. Leadership don't want me to do it. So I'm going to go in a complaint. Uh, 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 you know, I want to do something with the kids. Leadership doesn't want me to do it, so I'm going to complain about it. That's just stupidity, man. <laughs> Or, 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 you know, uh, uh, yeah, 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 I give a hundred dollars. I don't know what they do with the hundred dollars. <laughs> you understand? Uh, uh, you know, I go to the uh, uh, fundraising. You know what I mean? I was there. They collect money. I don't know what they do with it. I said, you know, when you're looking at stupidity, when you go to your job, Right? I'm going to show you guys how sick you are. You go to the job. Do the white men have to explain anything to you? Well, why when you come in Christ now, Christ have to explain to you? You want to see something wrong? Be very mindful. I'm going to end it with that verse. Read that verse again. Verse 7. Ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Don't be that brother. Don't be that sister. You understand? When you up in here, Every Sabbath, you come here to write notes, apply laws, statutes into your life. Then if you if you weak of doing that, pick a brother, man. Pick a, each one of you here should have a counselor you talk to, a brother you you're close to you can talk to. But don't pick a brother. You just walk in the door. He walk in the door. Talking about this, my boy. <laughs> He's not your boy. He's got the same time as you. He's not your boy. You are the same. Pick a brother that been there a year, two years than you. I mean, you can relate it to that brother because he's here to tell you what the protocol is, how to walk here. But you're going to pick up brother that been there a year, you've been a year, been a year. You know the same thing you know. Or that sister been a year, you, you know the same thing you know. And if I was your young sister, I'm trying to, I try to reach out to the sister that is seasoned. Seasoned and who been there long enough who got good report. By the way, not that who, who's an officer or, or the, uh, who have good report. Meaning that the, you heard they got good report. That sister right here, I, you know what I mean? She's a good sister. A lot of sisters could reach out to me. Deacon, who you think I should? I said, I said, who, who you talk to? And they say, oh, this sister. I said, yeah, they, yeah, you in a good hands. You understand? You in a good hands. Your brother's called me too. Who you talk to? Oh, the brother is a, you in a good hands. Yeah, but always, brothers and sisters, prove that friend. That's what the scripture say. Prove that friend. You understand? Sometimes you might tell a brother something, you heard it. You don't have to cut the brother off, but you cut the brother off from the conversation. You don't have to, you know what I'm saying? Yo, brother, I'm good. I'm going to pick another counselor. Because I just tell you something. I heard it from three, four uh, months already, man. You don't keep nothing. But don't look in that within that things like, is the Lord trying to teach you something? Prove their friend. And the brother is not a good friend. That's what the Lord trying to show you. You understand, man? But always trying to keep the unity, man. Fight for the unity. The unity of brethren, the love of brethren. You understand? Don't let another brother come in you and speak evil of another brother. Don't do that. You understand? No matter what the brother did to him. I'm saying it again. Don't let a brother or sister come to you and speak evil of another man, another woman. What does scripture say about that? Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Then we just went to Peter. He said, uh, uh, he's talking about evil. What did they say about the evil and Peter? Your conversation. Let your conversation 
be holy, man. Go ahead. First Peter chapter two, verse one, laying aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies and envies and all evil speakings. You heard that? All evil speaking. A brother or a sister that speak about another brother, speak another sister is an evil person. I'm saying it again, and you're, you're, in case I stutter. A brother or sister, they will call another sister, another brother, to speak evil of another brother, another sister. Their spirit is evil. I hope you all got it. Huh? What was said? Oh, no, 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 no. We ended with that. With that, brothers and sisters, we hope you did, have the, you did understand the class. We went to a little deep mystery that you understand that you understand the creation who was involved in the creation then uh who's given the the, the instruction and the creation then who who's supposed to guide men then that's why Christ feet feet every each one of them you understand so he's the man behind all that so if Christ set man over you, Christ find that man to be faithful. You understand? Take he. You understand? Don't look at every man in a carnal form. Look at every man in a spiritual form. Because you all heard the scripture. Abraham, back. Isaac, back. Jacob, back. Obadiah, back. Jeremiah, back. Daniel, back. Uh, 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 Ezekiel, back. Malachi, back. Uh, now I see Jeremiah, right? Our back is back. So be very mindful. Just be very mindful. God set this man over us for a reason. When you look at Bishop Netanyahu, he's not a regular dude. You understand? So I will not allow anybody to speak evil about him towards me. Because I know that man. You understand? I know Deacon Malachi. I know that man. I know Deacon Asap. I know that man. I know Deacon uh, uh, Yausap. I know that man. I know uh, 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 Deacon Atan. I know that man. I will not allow you to speak evil of that man. I know uh, Deacon Abiel. I know that man. I will not allow you to speak evil of that man. You understand? I will apply scripture with you. Yo, why not use that scripture with the brother? Why speak evil of the brother? You understand? I know these men. You understand? I will not allow you to do so. Because I know these men are the anointed of the Lord. I will... I, 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 you know what I mean? Unless you just confuse. <laughs> you understand? These are the leaders that God set over us today. For us to humble ourselves. For us to apply his laws the way, the way God wants his laws to be applied. Not in your emotion. Not in your opinions. Not in your feeling. Because a lot of you are full of your opinion and your feeling. That's why you talk back a lot of time. Because you always got something to say. Learn how to shut their mouth and learn more. Scripture say that. By your ears, learn more instead of one in your mouth. Learn that in Christ, to Christ. We say amen. All right, everybody got bread and wine? And I had a, yo, yo, don't turn it, you turn it off, you turn it off yet? Yeah, I want to, I want to beat up Alinda, man. Alinda always take care of me, man. Fisa Tabernacle, uh, that was on fire. You understand? So, I mean, we, uh, I don't know why y'all guys, those are the three feasts. Passover, Feast of Tabernacle, and uh, what's the other one? Then the no, Quest, Quest, Quest. <laughs> you got to get Quest in the line. Quest is a, is must be. Think about it, you in a boat. All you see is three quarter of families, fringes. You sit down and eat and having a meal talk. There's nothing precious than that. Then you got time to hit at least four country. There's nothing precious than that. You understand? Then your young men should 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 jump on that. There's a lot of experience in that thing. You know, that's why I would not give, you know, I mean, people call me Deacon Laba, you going to be on Quest. You damn right I'm going to be on Quest. Oh, Deacon Laba, you going to be in Passover. You damn right I'm going to be in Passover. 
Deacon Lobby, are you going to be in Atlanta? You damn right. I'm going to be in Atlanta. I cannot wait to be Deacon Abiel, though. I want to see Deacon Abiel face in Atlanta. In the face of uh, Tabernacle. I want to shake that man's hand, that Judah hand. I want to give him a hug and tell the brother I love him. I want to I wanna look uh, Captain Paul Luke and say, brothers, I love you. I want to look the other one, the new captains. Or is that uh, Hazawaya and say, brothers, I love you. Then, then I want to, what right after I say I love them, I want to say, it. yeah, I'm sorry. You have been one away Jews. Welcome home. Welcome home. Atlanta is your home. Welcome home. Feast of Tabernacle. Deacon Abiel, just give me a buzz, man. That day will come where the power will exist. Amen. And so uh, at 6 p.m., we see that the bishop, Bishop Nathaniel, he's explaining the Christian faith. Yet again, we are going to shut this down, all right? All praise to the Most High for the bishop, his word, oh, the, he's preaching the Lord's word, tearing down this, this religion that has conquered our minds for too long, all right? Everybody got bread and wine, right? And all praise him. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23. For I have received of the Lord, that which also I delivered unto you. That the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he be was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup which he had supped, saying, This cup is the, two, is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink the cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause, many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. The bread is all right. It's all right. Yeah, yeah, me clap you in for the all right bread. <laughs> all praise to the most high. All right. Israel, are you ready? Always ready. Faith, patience, salvation. The truth. Faith, patience, salvation. The truth. Faith, patience, salvation. The truth. Who are we? What color is he? Black. Who's the king? Black. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. His what? 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 His